<laughs> Hello! Welcome to Trailer Yo. Boys! Hey, welcome to Trailer Bees! Trailer We're Bees! Trailer Bees! <laughs> Schwartz, he's getting down! Oh, Hello, everyone! Schwartzy, thank you. Hello! Welcome to Trailer Boys! This is welcome. a trailer based game show where you, the audience, Submit trailers to, I think it was right here. I got rid of it. Miseryloves.us. Mis- Miseryloves.us. It's you written can hit, down hit the like a, Yeah. Let me see. I think you can hit something. Nightbot can tell you what it is, right? Yeah. <clears throat> hit submit, right? Wouldn't that show up? Uh, exclamar- exclamation point there submit, we go. right? Yeah. I got it. It's up there now. It's up there now. <clears throat> so you guys submit trailers. We have a theme. We pick them at random. We watch them. We don't pick Same them at random. You don't pick. Oh yeah, I guess it's not random, but we. <laughs> oh. we <laughs> Do you know what random means? I'm so random. Uh, uh, random would mean we're like, uh, I don't know, one nine three four. Okay, here's. The to be honest. Actually, we read the comments. We like read the titles. We 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 weigh in like. Uh, uh, Alex Mobes, you know, cheered 100 bits, thank you. We want him to be good. I pick at random a lot of time, though. Like, I I will randomly just be like, sure. That's not true. Sometimes I do. No, Sometimes you I'm go stressed. like, hmm, what's this one? Uh, Forrest <laughs> Gump. That's oh. me buying time. <laughs> uh, Forrest Gump? No, but That's if it was Forrest Gump, you wouldn't pick it. You, no, no, like, yeah, yeah. All right, of course, I'm not I'd skip over Forrest Gump. That's what I'm saying. Is okay, that, it's like, not random. It, it's not a debate on what random is. So Cause random. We're, because what we're about to tell people is that uh, when you s- make your submissions, don't make the most obvious submissions, because, like, you know, like, we probably won't watch the most obvious, you know, like, uh, we, we won't watch... You know the most obvious trailers f- for for this. What's the uh, most obvious also, trailer tonight? Uh, I would say Silence of the Lambs, which we were talking about last night. Is it's one of my favorite movies of the '90s. And guess what else? What? Guess what else? Kismet. I mean, sometimes the universe, you know, like <laughs> hears you. And guess what was on Pluto TV last night? Silence of the Lambs. Silence of the Lambs. Yes. <laughs> uh, we're still trying to get sponsored by Pluto TV, by the way. So yeah, which so someone that, told me recently that it's owned by Roku. Oh, oh, Ooh, we love Roku. sponsored by Roku. Yeah, we also love Roku. Um, we we love those TCLs. We're all about TCL. We love, love them. Let's get a TCL sponsorship, a Roku sponsorship, and a Pluto TV sponsorship. We'll be in the family. I would yeah. love to be in that family. I, I, I should too. invest. I should invest in that. <laughs> don't don't invest. Yeah. I've lost a lot. I've lost a lot of money on Roku, but I'm I'm holding hard. Um, yeah, hold hard. I'm holding it's hard on that Roku bag because I think it'll be. Here's the thing about Roku: is a lot of people are like, "Oh, I want to watch uh, Amazon Prime, but I have an Apple TV," or "Oh, I have a Google TV, but I can't watch Apple shows." You know what? Roku, you can watch all that stuff. Yeah, Roku. But, here, <laughs> but here's the thing too: is that like, how many times I, we have a pretty tech savvy crowd in here? People, you know, like know how to use a computer in this in this chat right here. We have what like a hundred and something people, hundred and fifty two people in here. You guys are all pretty, pretty good and pretty with it. Uh, how many times do you go over like a friend's house who has like a TCL TV, but they're like, uh, I I I've got my Apple TV plugged in because I like the interface, and you're like, oh. You- the, it's all right the Roku's there. doing it's you don't even have to plug anything in it's it's already does all that shit Doors. Uh, yeah uh, uh so we choose trailers we watch trailers then chat you vote on the trailers assign points in a yes or no 
fashion. It doesn't have to get crazy. And uh, depending on how many yeses it gets, certain points in a Gooby system, quarterly assigns points. Anything over 25 to 50, 1.50 to 75, two points, 75 to 99. While we're talking, I'm going to make a Gooby graphic. Okay. Gooby it up. A Gooby pie chart, yeah. Hendo Calrissian has gifted a sub. Thank you, Hendo. Are we in a hype train? Did we miss more stuff? I'm sorry. I don't have the... um, yeah, Lachelius subscribed. Thank you, Lachelius. Lach, Lachelius. I'm sure I fucked that up. Lach, Celios. Loch Celios. Loch, Chris Chelios. I, I don't read and pronounce things so well. Uh, where's the VOD for Self Suck last night? It's up there. Is it? it should be, yeah. It should be up that there. That was fast. No, not on YouTube. Sorry. Oh, Still oh. have to edit some shit. Uh, it's on... I mean, if you're here I mean, on I Twitch... Was, I was not expecting that. I was like... No. A, <laughs> I was like, wow. Crazy. Um, so. How is everybody? Good. Okay. One from <laughs> Sam... Um, tired. Yeah. It's been a long week. Everyone's stressed out from watching the news or what? Because I yeah. am looking forward to some fucking trailers. Did you see the the pre, pre-show pre video I had going on? It was no. thematic. It was, um, I've used it before. It was just video of somebody walking through the woods at night. Like, really creepy. Like, the light made it kind of like a tunnel. And then I played um, a demo version of Goodbye Horses and an oh. early and a, and a weird remix of Goodbye Horses that was like chopped and screwed kind of stuff. I actually don't know if I'm doing this in a way oh, that makes wow. sense. Nick the Newbie. Who uh, Nick the is manager of the Patreon, which, you know, we'll get back there again. Uh, yeah. uh, I, I just want to say, like, uh, it's funny that, like, Zach really thrown out the bus last night. Being like, who's in charge of that? And I was like, <laughs> I mean, Nick's essentially, essentially yeah. we are. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> and someone is volunteering to help you process all these refunds. Yeah. Uh, Nick the newbie just got a thirty sixty titanium for retail price. That's Ooh, crazy. What brand did you get? Cool. Um, I am the only person that's probably lost money in this graphics card shortage. Where I I did have the opportunity to buy one at retail price. Oh, Founders Edition and Video. Wow, sexy. Ooh. That's nerd sexy. Um, I bought like a $1,500 card because I had the opportunity and I got it. And then as soon as I got it, I was like, I can't afford this. This is a $1,500 computer part. Uh, and then I tried to sell it back to Newegg and they were like, oh, the restocking fee was like 15%. And I was like, fuck that. I was like, I'll sell it on eBay. But I wasn't trying to gouge anybody. So I just set it for like the price I paid for it. And it sold for the price I paid for it. Like it was an auction, but it still didn't go for a lot and so i sold it for the price i paid for it then i forgot that ebay fees so i lost money and then i also have to pay tax on it so yeah yeah and and uh you paid how much 1500 for that yeah uh and i paid uh like 850 for mine and mine was better than the one you got no 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 I, this was just like a couple months ago this was like a oh. 3080 titanium you know like it was a new oh. card uh i just got rid of it really quick so i did lose money i'm mm. the only one that lost money hey principal rolls gifting subs to, to nick the newbie as well Nick the newbie thank you very much if no one said it thank to you. you do a lot of great work yeah. With the Patreon that for volunteer, no payment. And yeah. uh, I know it was a pain in the ass, especially with, uh, you know, everything that happens. What? <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I'm understanding, and I appreciate the help. And it's like if anyone's dropping the ball, we're dropping the ball. Uh, appreciate. I'm not you. pointing fingers. Uh, I, yeah. Um, where are we at? Do you guys want to watch last week's? Or are you still making a Gooby Wood graphic? I, did, I, I, I had an idea of what this would be, and now I don't know if it makes sense, but I'll send it to you, and and you tell me if this makes sense. If I... Oh, oh, I know what I need. <sighs> you know what you should do? is You should do some streams where you're making like graphics and stuff. I've done that before. It's fun. Yeah, I've, I've done that. GG. Huh. This is Whack AF. Let me see. I know what I need, though. I need a... Uh, fuck, where is that thing? Oh yeah, Sam made the muscle graphic on muscle show graphic on stream. Hey, yeah. Blackbird flew as resubscribed for fourteen months. Thank you very much. I was really pumped on my um. Mm. Uh, my promo graphic for. Uh, self suck for self suck. I did that and not that long of time. Wait, oh, wait, here's what I need Red Band trailers aren't necessarily a no go, but if it's got Twitch TOS, so like swearing and gore, I think is okay. But I think boobies, anything that looks like uh, anything overly feminine, I don't think we're allowed to have. Um, Notorious BBEG says, have they discussed 2025 guy being a bit of a pedo? We have. When we were watching it, I was like, let me look up the socials of these guys. I just want to see, like, what they're like. And they're all locked down. And I was like, well, that's weird. And I, I kept looking and then saw that, like, he had posted uh, something about his girlfriend being like, "Hey, or now she now I think they're married, but it was like a celebratory. She finally turned eighteen thing, and this long thing about how they've been dating for four years, and it's gross. I mean, he's not that much older than her, but I think he's still like six years. I mean, it's still not legal, right? Like, anyway, um, yeah." Someone in chat told Zach we watched his movie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, because they were talking about that. I didn't get that at first, and I was like, oh. Why is that Zach's movie? Because the, the guy kind of looks like Zach, I think. Right? I don't see it. Was that the... I guess. I don't get it. I don't get it. Oh. Yeah. 15, she was 14. They, they were, like, dating at 14, so it means, like, maybe what the courtship was before that. Like, it's all gross. It's all gross vibes. Um, okay. Do you know who won last week? I do know who won last week. This is, this is actually one of my favorites. Uh, who won last week? Um. Oh, who personally won? I thought you meant what? No, no, movie. no. What trailer won? Uh, the the Satan Killer. Yes. How could I forget? I thought "See Me Dance" would have done better in your eyes. Steamy dance? Oh, see me dance. <laughs> see me dance. See me. Steamy dance. It was a steamy dance. Uh. All right. And that was Big Row 1. Oh, Big Row 1. Oh, yeah, that's right. Big Row 1's been kind of running away with it lately. Big Row 1 has also cut their own trailers. And I think they cut a trailer tonight, too. Do you want Do you want the... Um, actually, let me give you the JPEG, because the PNG will be clear. Yeah, somebody said Satan Killer is about a serial killer, though it doesn't have anything to do with Satan. It's, we don't know. May, I mean, it was called Satan Killer. Maybe there are, it, 
it was good. I loved this trailer so much. All right. And when, and when we get back, we have a graphic representation of how the Gooby point system works. Okay. Are you emailing this to me? Or are you oh, I will Discord email to, to Nate right Dis- now. Dis- send on Discord? No? All right. I'll send it. Yeah, oh, yeah. I can send on Discord. Yeah. Uh, All right. Let me see. Sorry, wait. Why can't I? I I thought this was a mistake with the opening like studio graphic playing twice, but no, that's part of it. The Satan Killer. (laughs) This is a report on the latest in a series of satanic drug-related murders known as the Satan Murders, which have been terrorizing this area for the past five months. Two tough, cynical police detectives are hot on the trail of a vicious serial murderer called the Satan Killer. I want to know what you think should be done with people such as the man responsible for these atrocities. Detective Stevens' investigation takes on a cruel twist when the killer brutally murders his beautiful fiance. I know this guy, right? I think he's capable of doing just about anything. She knows him? A grief-stricken detective goes undercover to flush out the ruthless killer and dispense his own brand of justice. He looks like he's sick. (laughs) You want me to do my job, get him off my ass. In the final confrontation, Stevens wrestles with his personal demons as he becomes judge, jury, and executioner. Oh, this is my favorite part. A serial killer so evil, he mocks the devil himself. You never fool me! (laughs) The (laughs) Satan Killer, coming soon from Uh, AIP Home Video. I loved it. I loved it. Sorry. I wasn't talking over that one as much just because I love it so much. um, Yeah. That, like, I was just letting that play for chat to remember. You never phoned me! <laughs> you never phoned me! <laughs> we had okay. a date! Uh, did you get the thing? Yep. Uh, let me save the image. All right, Sam, vamp it up while I do this. All right, guys, I just, I just, you know, we, we needed this. It's been a long time coming. We needed an image so people would really get, really understand the Gooby point system. And uh, I think we got it. I think, oh, we got it. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen. (laughs) Oh, yeah, we have one. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Okay. Um. It only took me... Uh, like frustrated three minutes and Nate a frustrated two minutes to make it happen on our channel. Do you know what the hardest part for me was? Because I I did everything really quickly and then saving it and then finding the file where I saved the file. So it was like (laughs) such a rush. Does does that happen to you? All the time. Especially when I'm doing like the VOD stuff. Uh, it's a lot of the similar file name things too, you know. Uh, yeah. And now I'm Shringle trying to says, find where I saved it. People who don't get the f- scoring system are kind of bad at life. Sorry, Nate. Don't be sorry. Wow. It's true. Wow. Oh 
I'm oh my sorry. God. Maybe okay. Maybe it's now, a little big. It's a little big. Maybe now Nate gets it. Uh, hold on. It's a bit big. Uh, transform. Fit to Fit window. Fit to screen. Fit to window. Yeah. There we go. It's a bit. It's a bit big. It's a bit big. Uh, it works. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Okay, so this is the Gooby Point system that Sam made up. Why don't you break it down for us, Sam? All right. So you see here, if 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 you get zero to twenty five percent of the yes votes, you get zero points. Uh, twenty five to fifty, that's one point. Fifty to seventy five, that's two points. Seventy five to one hundred, three points. Now the funny thing about that too is it's not like a hundred percent accurate, but it's it's pretty you know like pretty accurate. We might give you four points if you get a hundred percent. I don't know. It's kind of however we feel. Okay, so there it is for everybody that didn't know how that worked. Yeah, and then uh, if, if it gets more than a hundred points, a hundred percent of the votes, it gets zero points again. It keeps going around. I think that was a line from uh, Game of Thrones. Okay. Um, and are now you ready to see the scoreboard? Yeah. Hold on. Let me see. Let me make it nice like this. Okay, there we go. And now we're ready to see the scoreboard. And boom, there we go. Flanja has mm. decided to push past his 69 point where he was just chilling. And now he got more points uh, with some submissions last week and no. now has 84 points. Nate, is our is our system convoluted enough, or did we have to further complicate things by deciding the length of the season? And, we had to some, further complicate some, things. Yes, we had to further complicate things and make up the rule that when someone gets to 100 points, that marks the end of the season. And Flange is close. Flange could do it tonight. Flange is close. Yeah, we could, we could be there soon, and... Uh, end of the season and we start working on the playoffs i'll say this though look at look at these points the board is real tight like flanja is manchester city way up there but two through ten is mere points between each other so it's it's a tight race here guys you could end up on the board tonight and, and you know what like you could if as long as you're in the top eight, we should start doing the leaderboard for the top eight. Okay. Marth because, says like, rip me, but Marth, you've won. I don't even think you're... I I think you, you're a trailer boy officially. I don't think you could even be in the Invitational anymore. I don't know, Sam. What do you think? Oh, he has to, like, host it with us? <laughs> Possibly. I think that's why we like, a, like a Miss America kind of thing. He's yeah, like, yeah. yeah, last year's Miss America he used to pass on the crowd. Interesting. Crown. He he gets to vote. Interesting. Interesting. Ooh. Interesting. I like the way this is shaping up. What does uh, six to ten look like? Show. Let me let me just really quick check that out. Um is this accurate? Yeah, yeah, this is accurate. Six to ten is at uh in seventh place last week's winner big row one with 37 points in eighth place avalanche fan 84 with 35 points but that's a tie he's tied with lobaca 1977 lobaca had the room to put the 19 in his name they both have 35 points in ninth place we have grim world just behind with 33 points and in 10th place uh a contestant from last year's tournament and i think one of the finalists uh niamix niamix yeah definitely i do like the mix of um season one and, and new season two people it's good what's funny is like our our submission numbers like in the names change a lot but the numbers are kind of the same our viewership numbers are the same but we get like new people so it's like people are like yeah i'm done with that and then somebody else is new i think people I think can only handle pretty us good today season. i think yeah? we're right. today we I, what, we have 150 i guess i guess we have we usually get between 150 and 200 193 holy shit we almost oh. hit our limit <laughs> we almost are at 200 
No one in here over 200. Somebody close the door. These ratings are going through the roof. Um, cool. Uh, Self suck was fun right. last night. It was good to see you guys back in the horse. Uh, yeah, we were all on heroin. Wait, what? Back in the saddle. Uh, we were. You know, the boys are back in town. Know, sometimes, sometimes they call heroin horse, right? Mm. The H. Yeah. So, Dotsy Twilight knows what I'm talking about. Um, A little too well. Uh, let's see. So should we? Should we? I mean, it's been. I, I got I got one trailer this week. Okay. Uh. You you ready for it? I hit the button. They can hear us talk over this too. So we I gotta change the the coming to say coming, but I totally stole that graphic. All right, play it. Who's this guy? Oh, what does that mean? Oh. Wait, let me see if I have two. Better Nate than ever. <laughs> Is that what you're playing? The day, yeah. Posting the Bro, it's like 7 a.m. Today's the day, Ma. They're posting the cast list for the school play today. Get it? Like it's a curtain? Tough crowd. You can do it. <laughs> I've got some breaking news. It's an open audition. They're making Lilo and Stitch a Broadway musical. Where would we even sleep? What about your aunt? The Broadway actress. You were the only toddler whose first word was me. Let's cast a musical. Does anyone have a special skill they'd like to demonstrate? I can do fiddler on the roof style knee crawls. This I have to see. Mazel tov! <gasps> oh my gosh, my pants. Does anybody have any extra shorts? <clears throat> I'll make you proud. <laughs> Does anybody have any extra shorts? Forget New York. I'm just trying to survive seventh grade. I love that you're still acting. You remind me of, like, me. You're literally all I want to be when I grow up. Three weeks on Broadway, an apartment in New York. <laughs> Queens, but... I'm about to go out. You're a hundred times funnier and quicker than I am. Don't you look like the kid that went viral on TikTok? I didn't know you could do all that. Find your light. You're insane. I'm theatrical. Hold up just a second. Sorry, I thought we were alone. You guys are so weird. We know. I'm about to go out. Just getting started, we about to go. That's some good content. <laughs> uh that's Wait, my new excuse my is new that excuse friends, is bitch i'm theatrical <laughs> oh. i'm theatrical i thought you, said, I thought you, you were gonna say your bet your new excuse was like whenever you're late going in and going better nate than ever <laughs> true true because <laughs> you can you can do that I think that will like honestly get people to be like, yeah, all right, whatever. <laughs> I'll start doing that. I'll maybe I'll make it my autobiography. No, it's still my autobiography. Is still, if it's Nate Brown, let it mellow. <laughs> uh, well, you should have your autobiography be called Master Nating. That's a sequel. <laughs> That's the prequel. Uh, or Nate Brown from Use. Um, Not so much? Okay. Yeah. All right. You want to kick off the first trailer of the show? Birth of a Nation. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, I don't uh, we look like a blue orange movie poster today. Yeah, I should. I'll, I'll be more blue and Sammy's more orange. 
Let's see. Nope. Um, <laughs> birth of a nation. Anyway. Um, um, oh, actually, there's one I want to see. There, I'm all blue now. Problematic act natural terminator nated and afraid. Mm. All right, here, this one. This one got submitted a bunch. A bunch. Uh, and I really want to see the trailer for it. This probably got submitted before <laughs> the show was over last week by based off of where it is on the thing. And uh, pe you can still submit trailers. If you think of something, hit the link. Nate Breed. You ready? Yep. Otis. Michael Love Rooker. Did you really kill your mama? What? Did you really kill your mama? I guess I did. Oh, wait. Can people hear this? She must have treated you real bad. She was a whore. Can you guys hear it? No, you can't hear it? So you couldn't hear the other stuff? Wait, the audio is fine? You used to dance naked in shoe all the time around the house. Otis. Doesn't that look like the one, the first Becky from Roseanne? You telling me you never killed anybody before? I ain't saying that. Open your eyes, Otis. Look at the world. It's either you or them. You know what I mean. Don't do that, Otis. She's your sister. I feel like I know you. Like, like I've known you for a long time. I feel like I've known you forever and ever. It's like the blood droppings from a deer you shot. And all they gotta do is follow those droppings and uh, pretty soon they're gonna find that deer. I ain't interrupting it, man. What are you doing? I want to see it again. Ooh. What'd you think? That movie is a creepy fucking movie. Have you seen it? And that, yeah. I haven't seen it. That's a creepy uh, trailer. I just thought of something too, because a lot of times I like these schlocky, shitty movies, but every now and then we'll watch something that's generally a fucking cool movie trailer. And I think tonight we have the potential of getting more of that, you know? Yeah. Um, that did sound okay for everybody. I feel like... I feel I like I... think it did. I think okay. people are messing with you. All right. Uh, I just... You know, I looked at my channels and I was like, I have a bunch of shit muted. So I think I might have you and the trailers on the same channel, though. So... Um, yeah, Dead in World has it right. I mean, like, like here's the thing with Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer is you watch it. It's a movie. It is fiction. It feels like a snuff movie. Like it feels real? Like there's like a dirty element to it, and it feels like, but like it's still like, it's not like, I wouldn't say it's like, um, uh, you know, that, that like, over, like the um those like revenge films like I spit on your grave that are like just so fucking disturbing. It's loosely based on real events. Uh so creepy. It it I have feels a pull like up now. Yeah, I mean like yeah, I, Professor Marth says it's not over the top, which like it, it feels like almost like uh you know, like Texas Chainsaw Massacre creepy, but like without it being fantastic, which makes it feel very so much more uncomfortable. 
Oh, funny. I actually have a funny uh, Michael Rooker story. Um, so we were presenting at the Spirit Awards one year. And there's a guy who graduated SVA at the same time as us who is a film director and directs a lot of like horror movies and, and stuff like that. Uh, Ty West. And Ty was at uh, the Spirit Awards with Michael Rooker. And uh, Michael Rooker, who's who's on the whitest? Are you on the whitest kids account, Nate? Yeah, that's how oh, I'm doing okay. the polls. So, yeah. Um, so my, he's at the Spirit Awards with Michael Rooker, and there's this whole thing where it's like you have to go through security and then through like this like whole like red carpet like photography thing, and then uh, you know like go up to the actual tent where they're having everything and we see ty and we're like hey what's up oh this is a, nice to meet you michael and like uh go through and then afterwards we see ty like waiting around and we're like what's up and he was like michael rooker had to go back to his hotel room to drop off his gun because he always has a gun on him the tracks yeah <laughs> uh it's it's just funny, like trying to bring a gun to an award show. Yeah, you never know what's gonna I happen. Have my gun on me. Who's gonna protect you? <laughs> when shit goes down, I will. Yeah. I bet you though, if, if well, <laughs> I was gonna say this and then like immediately realized the flaw in my logic, but I was going to say. Uh, I bet you, since he's been in so many movies that have, like, real-life gun training, I bet he's probably pretty good with a gun. And yeah, Nate doesn't read the, the news gun. much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Uh, that got two uh, points, Sam. Who submitted that? Have you heard about this Rust movie? You gotta <laughs> see it. Uh... The first, a bunch of people submitted that. The first person to submit that was Schwingles. Oh. Um, okay. So I, I give that two points. Okay. Uh, I I haven't seen the movie. <clears throat> I did like the pacing of it. It's weird to me, too, because you, I think of a lot of serial killers as these solitary dudes, and, and that looked like it was like a guy with his friends, and he, he was kind of weird. Yeah, I mean, like, isn't doesn't that the end of that trailer like like really punch it of like they're watching something? You're like, what are they watching? And then like the whole like, what are you doing? I'm rewinding it. I want to watch it again. Dropping, and uh, pretty soon they're gonna find that deer. I interrupted it, man. <laughs> so, what are you doing? And we'll see it again. So is Michael Rooker Henry or is the other guy Henry? Michael Rooker's Henry. Okay. And someone paints a portrait of him. Is that the other guy? The, is he the artist? No, the, 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 other guy? Movie, the movie is a portrait of him. Oh. So the other guy is not an artist. No. Okay. I mean, of sorts, I guess. Hmm. <laughs> What medium? Uh, uh, you know, murder. Oh, one of those performance artists. Oh, Mike Patton did a cover of a song from this movie. Hmm. Okay. I will give it a point. That's one point for me. It uh, was good. This is what threw me off. Me. Is that like, I was like, oh, it's, it's a good movie trailer. Um, you know, normally I'm like looking for like the shitty camp stuff. Yeah, Nate's Nate's zigging when you think he's taking points off for it being good. No, no, I, I <clears throat> it didn't it didn't uh, grab me. Okay. Um, let's see. You ready? Yep.
Du hast dabei einen schönen Ball. Zu Aus bestimmten Anzeichen geht er vor, dass auch dieser neue Mord von dem selben gespenstischen Unhold begangen wurde, dem bereits acht Kinder unserer Stadt zum Opfer gefallen sind. Wer ist der Mörder? Wie sieht er aus? Wo verbirgt er sich? Niemand kennt ihn. Und doch ist er mitten unter uns. Jeden Tag erweitern wir das Fahndungsgebiet. Vielleicht doch noch irgendetwas Verwendbares zu finden, das uns der Lösung des Problems näher bringt. Im ganzen Schriftbild liegt ein schwer erweisbarer, aber intensiv fühlbarer Zug von Wahnsinn. Also hört mal, der Block ist doch umstellt. Wenn er überhaupt noch mal nach Hause kommt, muss er uns ja in die Finger laufen. Ein Außenseiter verdirbt uns das Geschäft und den Kredit. Die Maßnahmen der Polizei, die täglichen planmäßigen Razzien zur Ergreifung des Kindermörders, hindern unsere Tätigkeit in einem kaum mehr ertragbaren Maße. Wir müssen ihn fahren. Wir selber. Cool. Cool. Uh, I don't know if you know this, Nate. I probably don't. But Fritz Lang, I'm pretty sure it's Fritz Lang, is my doppelganger. I'm going to send you a picture. This is a pretty good one. The poll is up now for the movie titled M. Here, I'll send it to you. And there's there's another picture where, where uh, I sent you the the Bing link to it. <laughs> wow, that is crazy. Let's see this. Oh. Um, um, here, this is gonna be this. Sorry. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. <laughs> okay, that got an 83% yes. So that got uh, three points. And that looks like you that's fucking crazy uh <laughs> don't big image search for fritz lang nude hilarious <laughs> fritz lang leaks uh that's pretty funny sammy i like the monocle so they got 83 percent. i thought that was yeah, really cool was... i'd say the one thing that maybe took it away from me or m maybe it's it, it makes it better is that it, it wasn't the original trailer it's a, it's a remake but it's like um it it was cool it had a cool beat is that song the whistle is that in the in the movie i don't know uh is, i i i thought that was that was i usually am like not a fan of um yeah that song these, is key. like the redone um the like redone movie trailers, but I actually really liked that and thought it was great. I liked it too. I'm gonna give that two points. What would you give that, Sam? I'm also gonna give it two points. And uh I also, you know, I have not seen that one yet, and now I'm like really like you know, like sometimes you're like you you go into these older movies and you're like I've heard about this. All right, what am I getting into? And sometimes it's like a little slow, a little. Uh, but now I'm like really like I have that push to actually watch this. And it's funny because I just watched another movie that had Peter Laurie in it uh, the other day, the the famous 
Casablanca. Oh, yeah. Is Peter Lorre German? I, I don't think I knew that. Yeah, I don't think I realized that. Um, all right, so that was three from chat, two for me, two from Sam, and that goes to Schwingles. Hungarian, Hungarian. Schwingles? Is that right? Huh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, we did two Schwingles back to back. Yeah, oh, I noticed that. Oh, I was man. Like, oh, I do want to watch this, the trailer for M. And then, right. like, you started playing it, and I was like, huh. I will say this, though. Somebody else submitted it, and they put the original theatrical trailer, all right, the release trailer. Oh, let's watch that. Okay. Oops. All right. I think it's a different Here? trailer. It could be the same trailer. If it's a different trailer, and if it's better, we're giving points to it. It looks like the same trailer so far. Du hast dabei einen schönen Ball. I think it's the same trailer. Yeah, same trailer. All right. Principal Rolls says, I think the trailer we already watched is better than the original. Um, but okay. I, that was a good trailer. Yeah, it was a good trailer. I mean, it got seven points. But Shringles now has gotten a bunch of points right off the bat. All right. That was German. Okay. This is Wack as F. Schwingles can't get any more points from us picking his trailers tonight. All right. Um, Sorry, Schwingles. But, hey, like, I mean, here's the thing, too, is those weren't even close on the list. They were, like, spread apart. So, good for you. Barely. Samuel P. Fuller, age 24. Whoops. Linda Mae Jenkins, age 19. Brutally attacked March 3rd, 1946. Howard W. Turner, 29. Emma Lou Cook. 17. Bodies discovered in a wooded area on March 24th. Roy Allen, 17. Peggy Loomis, 15. Both found dead April 14th she in Green Lake Park. Floyd Reed, age 34. Murdered in his home on May 3rd. Mrs. Reed shot twice, but survived. This man's identity is unknown. Oof. He was believed to be between 30 and 40 years old. He wore a white hood and was known only as the Phantom Killer. World War II had just ended. In Texarkana, Arkansas, boys had come home to their families. Husbands reunited with their wives. It was a happy, peaceful time. Until the Phantom Killer struck. For four months, he held an entire city in the icy grip of terror. Now, Charles B. Pierce brings this incredible, shocking, and true story to the screen in The Town That Dreaded Sundown, starring Academy Award winner Ben Johnson as Captain J.D. Morales of the Texas Rangers. We got a cold-blooded killer here, a man who nobody sees, a phantom who so far hasn't made any mistakes. Andrew Prine as Deputy Norman Ramsey, of the Texarkana Sheriff's Department. The only thing we really do know is that we've got a very strange person on our hands. <laughs> the Town That Dreaded Sundown, a true story. Cool. That was cool as fuck. Yeah, that was rad. Was that the original that was, trailer? That was very good. Oh, fuck me. Was that the original trailer? I, I oh. believe so. Hold on. Uh, that was... That was, I mean, official trailer, 1976. Yeah, but also... Last week you watched, uh... Oh, you need to open up the the um, 
the Zoom window again. It is open. Because now I, I'm frozen. Am oh. I? Uh, I don't know how to unfreeze you. Uh, here, wait. Let me. Because we're in the works. same window. Yeah, I hit a button and all the windows minimized, and now it's. Um, I don't think it's you. Hold on. Let me see. Let me try this. Let me try and go back to this. Ah, fuck me. Uh, I think I moved there, right? <clears throat> no, my scene thing froze. Anyway. Uh, anyway. All right, let's... And Can they hear me? And we're back. Yeah, we're good now. All right, so right. that movie was cool as fuck. The trailer was cool that as movie. fuck. That movie, yeah. That movie trailer was cool as fuck. I, um, I mean, that's like one of those things where it felt like that was uh, more of a ride that I've had on a lot of full movies I've watched. Uh, what was the movie? Yeah, I, I loved that. The Town That Dreaded Sundown, which is a movie I've heard of before. I've seen the poster for. I've always been like, that looks cool. And uh, I missed it. I saw the ending, the literal title sequence. Oh. Let's fucking watch it again. <laughs> I mean, it's, of all the movies, it, this is one I'm like, hey, let's fucking watch that one again. The <clears> opening <throat> of it is so good. Yeah. And I think I maybe hit the wrong button and we missed the opening. Oh, really? All right. Did you stop? No, I, I didn't hit anything. Oh. Hmm. That's not good. Samuel P. Fuller, age 24. Linda Mae Jenkins, age 19. Brutally attacked March 3rd, 1946. That guy's 24? Howard W. Turner, 29. Emma Lou Cook, 17. Bodies discovered in a wooded area on March 24th. Roy Allen, 17. Peggy Loomis, 15. Both found dead April 14th in Spring Lake Park. Floyd Reed, age 34. Murdered in his home on May 3rd. Mrs. Reed shot twice, but survived. Does anyone know, this is this based on a true story? Is unknown. He was this is what got me, between right here. 30 and 40 years it, old. It's like a still photo. A white hood. And all of a sudden it moves, it looks at you, and it's like... The Phantom Killer. <sighs> World That's... War II had just ended. In Texarkana, Arkansas, and then like this felt like a little like old families. movie trailer slow. With their wives. It was a happy, peaceful time. Er, 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 struck. For four it feels months, Zodiac Killer. An entire city yeah. in the icy but grip. That was the seventies. Texarkana. Charles Avalanche Fan 84 says the Texarkana Moonlight Murders. And true story to the screen in The Town Great of Dreaded font. Sundown. Great font. Starring Academy Award winner Ben Johnson as Captain J.D. Morales of the Texas Rangers. We got a uh, cold-blooded killer here. A man who nobody sees. A phantom who so far hasn't made any mistakes. Andrew Prine as Deputy Norman Ramsey of the Texarkana Sheriff's Department. Last picture show, really Wild Bunch. Nuts, so we've got a very strange Wild person bunch. on our hands. <laughs> I love that. Uh, this dude's apparently <laughs> murdered like eight people. Really pulls like a Norm MacDonald there and he's like, the one thing we know, this guy is strange. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Brian, as Deputy Norman Ramsey, of the Texarkana Sheriff's Department. The only thing we really do know is that we've got a very strange person on our hands. <laughs> okay, so I love him like breaking into this screen window. <laughs> like a knife, and then he opens the door afterwards. You see that? Yeah. <laughs> and he's got a gun. <laughs> like open the door first and then shoot. Don't, you know. The town that dreaded sundown. A Great font. Story. Okay. Nazi Twilight just figured out that Norm Macdonald died. <laughs> he, he died, you know, a well, bit ago. If you haven't been watching this channel, I have more bad news for you. Yeah. Uh, uh, the town that dreaded sundown? Is that what it's called? 
Town that dreaded sundown. Yeah. Uh, that easily gets two points for me. Yeah, that gets a uh, an easy. You think so? Which which side am I on? No, you yeah. did it for the right the first time. Uh, yeah, that that gets easy. This bump for me. Like... <laughs> we did it. Oh, cool. <laughs> so. <laughs> um, this that means that a bonus point is coming from Sam. So that gets five points from us. And there's 18 seconds left in chat for your vote. It's looking good. It looks like eight people voted no on that, which is kind of fucking crazy that you're not like, no, that looks like a good movie. You're like, that looks like a bad movie. Or like, I'm not into it. You know? I mean, and you're voting I no. could see that. Some people, you know, it might be too old school for them. I don't know. Uh, Michael Megan says, I, I, what a I, I, <laughs> Sorry. I ate it up. Uh, where did Norm get his ideas from? Uh, so that's that's a full eight points right there. And we 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 still have not fixed. Oh wait, that's wrong. You still have to fix the point system. Is that what you're talking about? The point system to be able to go higher than eight. That's that's a but, crazy saxophonist. If you're out there. No, I mean, like, hey, I got Linda. I got Linda.com. Maybe I'll just do some sheets, lessons, tutorials, figure some shit out myself. Uh, there you go. Okay. Um, who submitted that? That was Schwingles. No way. No, it was the ta- it was uh, uh, Avalanche Fan eighty four. Oh. Avalanche Fan eighty four, who was the one who knew the little bit about the it being the Texarkana murders or whatever. Should I look at the who's submitting these trailers? I mean, sometimes. Okay. Sometimes be like, oh, I want to choose this one. I wonder who submitted because. This. Oh. The reason I ask is because the first oh. trailer submitted, which I was going to pick, is another Avalanche Fan 84 trailer. <laughs> and I just know because it was the first one that came in, like, as I was setting it up. And it's one mm-hmm. of your favorite movies. All right, so I'm going to skip him. That's the only one I know who it is, but... Um... All right, I, oh, I expanded the window now to, like, see the names of people, because normally I don't look at the names when I do it. And the first one, I was like, oh, yeah, that looks cool, and that is Schwingles. <laughs> <laughs> and then the one after Schwingles is Avalanche Fan. Okay, I gotta I gotta move it around here. All right. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the remake or the original, but we'll watch both. Maybe we'll watch both. Does anyone know it yet? I know it. I've actually never seen this. If this is the remake. This is the what original. Is it, no, this is the There's remake. Someone here. Really? Hello. Yeah. Sorry oh, to disturb okay. you. I'm staying next door. Please come in. Wow, that's a really great set of clubs. Okay, I have to. What? Ah! Yeah! You want to call someone? An ambulance or, or the police? Why are you doing this? Have a seat, please. I'm Paul. Little known fact about this movie: you bet Zach and Timmy auditioned for this movie together. We bet that you'll be dead. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch the tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. (laughs) 
Why don't you just kill us? You shouldn't forget the importance of entertainment. You shouldn't have done that, Anne. That's awesome, really. Really. So I, I actually haven't seen either of them. Uh, really? I think the original's uh, German. Yeah. Uh, All right. Yeah. Will you pull it and, up while it, it I was, start the... Tr I'll, I'll put the poll up. Will you find the original trailer? It was made shortly... Bef like, I think it was like only like a year or two older than... The remake. Uh, yeah, I've seen some foreign movies that do that too, where um, like the is it the secret in their eyes? Oh, oh no, actually, I'm wrong. The original was in 1997. When did this come out? I mean, after you know, like I think probably like ten years later. Poll is live. Um, 2007, everyone's saying. So, yeah, Interesting. exactly 10 years later. Right, right. I liked it. I mean, it's a dark fucking movie. Like, I was like, funny games. I like funny games. I'll watch this. And, uh... I like dark. fun. I like games. <laughs> I like fun and games. Um, <laughs> is that Michael Pitt? Is that his name? Yeah, Michael Pitt. He's really good in it. Like, it is very... There's another, I think there's a movie with him and, um, who's the guy from Drive? Uh, Ryan Gosling? I think there's a movie with him and Ryan Gosling and, uh, Nick, Nick Lady Stahl. actress, that's like their teacher. No, Murder by Numbers. There we go, Alex Moves. Murder by Numbers. Yeah, yeah. And he played like it was very the glass similar. Slide actually said it first. Okay, the glass slide. Okay, Murder. No, I'm just Murder by Numbers. So it's funny because Michael Pitt, I think, is in that movie, and he plays similar to the other character in Funny Games, mm. where he's like the quiet. He's like the the secondary guy. Um, oh, interesting. Do you, movie. do you know? Um. Did you ever see that, uh, what's called, um, the, the, the Jinx? Did you ever watch that documentary, yes. The Jinx? I fucking Did love you know it. that Ryan Gosling is in a movie that's based off those murders that came out, like, before the, like, way before the Jinx ever came out? Really? Yeah. No. What's it called? Um. Somebody put, submit it. <laughs> Someone mentioned that all all good things. Yeah, cool. Um, somebody submit it. We'll watch it. Did you find the yeah. original trailer for Funny Games? Yeah, that I found only the got, original trailer. I'll say real quick. Um, that only got two points from chat, but just barely two points. Fifty-one percent. All right, let's see. Let's no, see honestly, the original. I'm giving it one point. Okay, let's see the original. That exact shot starts out both trailers. Hold on. Hold on, I, I gotta rewind it because it skipped ahead. Like one of those shot for shot remakes, huh? Yeah, what's funny though is I feel like the shadows were longer in the first one. The Land Rover, or the Land Cruiser, Land Cruiser, Land Rover. That's Land in Rover? both. Yeah. Uh, so, in like, the, not to, to ruin it for people, but what I know about this movie is that like it's like a real like meta thing about like. Uh, the bloodlust of the audience. Of the, Even the, the trailer is shot for shot. Isn't that crazy? Guten Tag. Yeah. Guten Tag. So far. Now it's different. Yeah, now it's different.
I have to say, I like that trailer better. Yeah, the the um, hardcore was nice. That was a nice touch. It gave you a little bit of an idea of what how fucked up it is. You know, it's a fucked up movie. Yeah. Um, so Sam gave it one point. I'm gonna give it two points. I, I liked it because um, it had like a weird beat. Uh, again, I feel the original is better because it had that weird light intro and then into the hardcore stuff. Whereas the first one, we, the remake, was kind of like it didn't have that break. Um, so that is five points going to Sagumist. Welcome to the board tonight. Sagumis. Uh... All right, five points. All right. Okay, let's see, let's see. Delete your highlight after we put points on it so we can kind of clean it up. Yeah. Those are my highlights. The orange? Yeah. Yeah. It's like uh, the P. You can hit delete the P. I didn't put P this for down. pick. I know, I know, but when you add points, just delete that P. Oh, okay. Science has created the ultimate instrument of death. Your phone. I love it. I'm in. I'm in so far. I'm in. Hello? By the year 2000, there will be 1.4 trillion phones in the world. That can't be right. Hi. Way too many. You could send a thing like that down the line. Hey, are you weird or what? Are you weird? Sounds pretty on the <laughs> wall to me. I mean, a telephone killing people. Don't call me I weird. Nothing but facts, Stanley. If there was anything going on, I'd be the first to know about it. You're telling me that a telephone killed the girl. Who's that guy from? I'll call you. Ring once, hang up, and ring again. No, no, no. Oh, somebody! Oh, my God, this guy's crazy! Call the cops! A madman pushes a button and kills by phone. Would you answer murder by phone? No. <laughs> Would you answer Hello? murder by phone? Is this no murderer? <laughs> what is that? Mausoleum. That looks like a cool poster right there. Um, I gotta damn. pick up. Someone's Hello? calling me. No, don't pick up. It's murder by phone. <laughs> but I gotta pick up. I love... Here's the other thing I love about that trailer. It's like... Um, it seems to be a local area, right? It's <laughs> like yeah, whoever's doing it. Yeah. <laughs> they can only call people within the same town. Um, I loved it. I loved it. Boom. Poll is live. Okay. Um, I... I love the effects, you know, it was like the light flashing, like, uh, like kind of like some scanner stuff. Uh, yeah. It, it was fun. Uh, the voiceover in the beginning fucking hooked me. I was good. I was like, uh, that voice, I liked it. Was, was this remade into phone booth? Is that what it was? <laughs> no. Could be. Some no, damn strong okay. trailers tonight. Yeah. This is the thing is like, that is a good trailer. Like, I love sh- shitty stuff, but I'm like, that is such a fucking vibe that I'm I'm into it, you know? Like, it's I'm not shit-talking like, oh, it's so bad, you know? Uh, that was hot. Murder by phone. Will you pick up? Hello? Who's, who is that actor? Why couldn't they put the phone down? What? Hel- no, thank you. Unsubscribe. 
John Houseman. <laughs> oh, is it a re- uh, remake uh, of Dial M for Murder? Uh, really, really quick uh, story about Nate. That's really funny. Uh, um, so our mom was like, uh, is, "Is she is she listening?" Uh, I don't think so. She's not here. Uh, she can she can run hot sometimes, you know. <laughs> you know, Nate, can she run hot? Yeah. Um, so one time when we were kids. Uh, she had gotten a bunch of oh John Houseman from the Paper Chase and Three Days of the Condor and Rollerball. Oh, that's I love where Rollerball. Um, in Silver Spoon, he was in Silver Spoons. He was in Scrooge. He was spending tons of stuff. Um, but uh, so my mom had gotten a bunch of calls around like six o'clock by uh, uh, like telephone solicitors. And she was like, goes to Nate and she's like, I swear to God, if one more tele- telephone solicitor calls me at this hour, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna lose it on him. And then Nate goes and grabs the phone and calls his best friend, Sully, and goes, all right, call back and, <laughs> and ask if you can talk to the, the one house. So he calls back, and she just blows up on him. <laughs> uh, yeah. We were such so dickheads. Good. And I don't remember that at all. But that definitely sounds yeah. like something we would do. <laughs> yeah, you definitely did it. It was great. Uh, Sully's the best partner in crime. Um, I did see what the movie got in the poll. It, it went by too quick. Did anyone, did anyone see it? Somebody rewind. Uh, Polly. Polly. Rewind. I'll look it up. I'll look it up. Uh, three points. Three points. Murder by phone got three points. Easy two points for me. Easy two points for me. Two points for me, too. <sighs> nope. All right. No, I, I, who, I would who submitted murder it? Murder by phone. Who submitted I, it? I do I do think that I, I liked the um uh um what was the the a town afraid of night what what the fuck is that? Uh the dusky town. The dusk yeah, the town that feared the dusk time. The town that dreaded sundown was a, I think a better trailer than Murder True. by Phone, but just okay. by a little. That's that the baseline. Was, uh, okay. Hendo Hendo Cal Hey, Hendo's got some good trailers. Um, okay. Uh, this one got submitted a bunch. And. Let's see. You know what? Okay. Now that I'm actually looking at people's names, I should be better at this. What happens Guys. if somebody submits a trailer that is their own trailer and then a trailer that gets submitted a bunch and I want to watch both of them. Should I watch the one they, that only submitted and then another one from somebody else? I, I feel like if you want to watch the one that they only submitted and then give that one to the next person online okay. that got submitted a bunch, that's fair. Ben Snap one thank you for the subscription. 18 months. Uh, Ghost Titan Aww. Gaming says 0% chance they will see my trailer submission. We'll look at them. People keep submitting. We know. Um, we're looking at them. The context is great. So sometimes the context is really what sells it. Um, yeah, let's see. Ghost Titan Gaming did not leave context. Yep. Sorry. Definitely not reading it now. Sorry. Okay. Uh, here we go. Uh, the next one coming up. Pop, pop, pop. Beep. 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 Is this a bassoon? Oh, it's an unfortunate face. Whoa! I love this. The art direction, love it. Yeah. 
this has to be like foreign, right? Like Italian or something? Yeah. Damn, look at that fucking ascot! Boom! That is a look! Look at that chain belt. This guy dresses well. This has got to be Italian, right? <laughs> He's dressing that well. It's got to be Italian. Yeah. This, he kind of looks like Charlton Heston. There's another actor he kind of looks like, but I know it's not him. He looks like those creepy mannequins. That's cool. I like that. <laughs> it's all just like... Extreme close-ups. <laughs> ah, Spanish Italian co-production. That was a bit long, but I liked it. A bit long, I liked it. Um, that first part, the weird part when they came in, it was like he was wearing a wedding dress. It never got that weird again. <laughs> a little bit of the problematic there. Oh, really? Well, I mean, like, you know, like in, in not saying that that like, hey, this bet. But there is that that whole the stigma, the whole like um, transgender serial killer stigma thing that, you know, it, even. Uh, I mean, Silence of the Lambs, they, they say he's not transgender, he's something else, but like, uh, you know, like, yeah, there's a lot of like trans fear, um, sleepaway camp, there's a lot of like that in horror movies of the 60s, 70s, and 80s. And Interesting. 90s. Did not know that. Yeah. Well, we used to do a drag Ooh. show at work. Uh, one of the performers did a crazy, like, full scene uh, drag oh, performance. Oh, Dressed to Kill? Yeah, and another they, good They point. had to apologize for it a couple weeks later. And I was like, interesting, because it was like the one that everyone was talking about for months later. Um, anyway, new to me. So, yeah. uh, I thought that was dope, though. Yeah, Sugumas says, says a good point. It's been lumped in as a part of mental illness. Interesting. It's called Hatchet for the Honeymoon. And as a trailer, aside from the problematic parts to it that could be new to people, I thought it was great. Um, <laughs> easy two points uh, for me. I would only give it one point for being a little, little bit long, a little bit slow. Uh, the music was so good. The mu actually, I'll bump it up to two points. I'll bump it up to two points. The reason I'm giving it, it two points is because of the colors. That's what I think the strongest part of the trailer was. Visually, these these strong, you know, primary colors, you know, like the the uh, the reds and the blues. It was uh, uh, gave it a really cool feel. Yeah. I had a good vibe. Um, I just, uh, I thought it looked really cool. And I, I again, I really liked uh, the costuming. Is that the right word? The wardrobe? It was fresh. Oh, oh. wow. People did not Only like one that. Point from chat. I wonder if no, they I didn't like it because of the problematic stuff, or they just didn't like it. I don't know. I mean, like, like I, you know, like as I think that's like problematic in a way where where society was like uh, kind of problematic, and I was like, 
I don't know, like it, it it's it's just a weird thing, you know, like um uh and it was just a touch. I think people probably just thought it was meh. Okay. Sparkle Pony said meh. Shwingle said he loved it because the problematic stuff, but he didn't like it as a movie. <laughs> wow, Shwingle. Oh, Shwingle. Wow. Ooh, hot take. Um, no, and, and <laughs> I only bring that stuff up saying like like bring that stuff up not to be like, hey, pitchforks, let's get this stuff out of here. But I think we should address it and, yeah, and recognize it. You have to acknowledge it. You know? it. I mean, it's new. No, it's better I, to like. I had yeah. totally forgotten about it. So it's like, oh, yeah, that's a whole. Yeah, I get you. Um, I. Although it was Italian. And you know how I feel about Italians, chat. I will give it two points. Oh, wait. I will say this, guys. Oh, all right, never mind. I know there was a movie that Nate was looking for, and I just found it. Um, and you gave it two points? Yeah, I, I gave, I'll give it two points. Okay. And that was called Hatcher for the Honeymoon, and chat gave it one point, because... Chat has questionable taste, but that's okay. We can't all be made. Uh, Marissa, Marissa, I don't, I don't think we've ever really seen in chat, but Marissa has submitted some trailers that we yeah, watched. Yeah, some past. good ones. Yeah, yeah. So Marissa, if you're out there, oh, there was maybe another one that watcher. Mar good job. There's another one that Marissa submitted that I, I I'm gonna have to play because I don't think anyone else submitted it. I th but Nate. Is it 18, 1982? Because I think that was submitted a bunch. Because that was what I was going to play. And then I was like, oh, there's two oh, yeah. that I really liked. So 1982 is further down. Okay, it was submitted a bunch. And also, but like speaking of the repeat submissions. Yep. Uh, you were talking about the first movie submitted. Uh, I just saw a... Uh, if, you, if you go to 2029... There is a really funny description of that trailer. Oh, I should read the descriptions of these too. But all right, twenty. Do you want to? What do you want to play next? Do you want to play twenty twenty nine? No, I, I have another one to show. Uh, this one's. This one's. Before you start from, that, from Timmy to Nate. Okay, let me just say this but, one was nineteen. The one we watched, Hatchet for Honeymoon. The context was nineteen seventy two. A man who owns a wedding boutique kills young brides on their honeymoons. Um, and we didn't get that in the trailer, but that's why I wanted to read the... I think we should read the context afterwards. That's good. All right. From Timmy to Nate? Yeah, not the person who submitted it, but like, like in their context, they mentioned that this was a Timmy suggestion. And I knew this was one that you wanted to watch. Do you believe there's a part of yourself that you don't show anybody when I'm inside? Them. These girls were kidnapped, tortured, and murdered. <laughs> Our killer is a white male, about 30 years old. Carl Rudolph Starger, who has had the house under surveillance for about 20 minutes. He keeps them in this thing. Oh, I forgot he, Vince hours. Vaughn was in this. Oh, yeah. You're all clear! And after 40 hours, the water starts, and it doesn't stop. There is a girl that is missing. Her name is Julia Hickson. He is the only one that knows where she is. If he was conscious, do you think that he would tell you where she is? Are you sure? I'm sure. I, I love the you bring what they have to monster, wear. and you're asking her to go into that mind. This kind of bite the uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula. Oh yeah, but that's a great costume. Where's Julia Hicks? No names. She's gone very deep into his world. So she's made contact. Yeah, this part is sick. This was a 
prequel to Inception. I'm going in to get her. Let's hear, let's hear some people si sound off on that font there. That is like, <laughs> papyrus? that is some pretty bad font. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was papyrus. Uh, yeah, that was funny. like really close to papyrus. <laughs> um, I I liked it. I thought the movie was great. I thought they would have had the Damien Hurst part with the horses in the movie. You know? Oh, like, remember yeah. when the horse is like, because that's a real yeah. art installation uh, yeah. that they kind of ripped off. I wonder if he got any money for that. But I probably they he, also they also ripped that off in uh, um, the Hannibal TV show. Oh, I did not know. I've seen that show. I don't remember that part. Hannibal TV show did have really good visual art direction. Um, the one thing I didn't like about it is that, like, if you were to binge them, watch them one after another, it was like, oh, this again, you know? But um, yeah, spreading yeah. them out, like, once a week was, was much better of a watch. All right, that was called The Cell. And while this goes up, here's the thing is, I was looking for this movie a while ago, a couple months ago, and then I found out that there's, like, sequels uh, and I feel it's worth a rabbit hole. And I will say, yeah. I haven't seen these, but they have to be shitty, right? Or, or now, at least now, it's only one sequel. Now, wait. I just want to point out that, like, uh, uh, you know, the the plot of this movie is insane. There Break is it down for me. So much going on here. Where it's okay. like, all right, we got this serial killer. He kidnaps girls. Okay, all right. Uh, we have this other person who has this system in which they can invade people's dreams in their subconscious and go into their subconscious. Okay, okay. And then the serial killer is also the serial killer who, like, kidnaps girls. And then he puts them in these underground rooms and they fill up with water. And if they're not there in 48 minutes, the, the girl dies because the girl drowns in the water. And it's like... All right, well, why don't we, like, stick with one of these things? Like, uh, it, It's intricate, <laughs> though, because it, it, it puts, like, a time pressure on it, right? It's not like you have to get this done, right? Uh, but, I mean, you know, like, uh, there's other things I've seen where it's like, oh, yeah, if if they don't, what like... What was the score? I missed the Talk point. to this... If, if they... Uh, oh, yes. oh, wait, it's up right now. It's uh, two see. points. Uh, six, 67, two points. Uh, um, but... It's a hat on a hat, but like it, it's also like, yeah, they could just say like, hey, if if he dies, and we don't find out where she is, she's gonna starve down there. <laughs> you know, you can. <laughs> well, that's more time. Laser Sharks Two <laughs> says forty eight minutes is kind of a tight schedule. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get this done. She's gonna drown. Yeah. Like now. It, I, I do want to watch that again because you are right. Like it's just so funny. Is and then Vince Vaughn like they're like oh her 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 she's out like her mind is in there she's not coming out and they're like well instead of writing her off like she obviously went in there knowing the consequences. And Vince Vaughn's like all right send me in. <laughs> yeah. I've seen what happened to the both of them. Let's go third person in. <laughs> But here's what I'm saying is like you could have like a, a really cool movie where it's where you just focus on this whole like I mean a really cool movie besides Inception where you just focus on this Inception thing where that's how they do interrogation in the future is going into people's minds like that and they go into people's minds and go into people's minds and then the third act is they go into this person's mind to figure something out and then all of a sudden someone on the outside realizes like oh no that's the killer and the mind is like really scary like the cell you know like 
and that's like how you escalate it. But this movie is all in that third act, you know. I want to watch um. it again. Um, was the B storyline important? Do you need that B storyline? What was the B storyline? Or them yeah, on the outside? Hold on. Oh. There we go. Sorry, guys. Of the cell or the one I'm just talking about? The, the, the cell. The movie I just pitched you. All right. Do you want to see the cell, too? Maybe it'll answer all your yeah, questions. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's see the cell, too. Maybe uh, maybe this is what I'm looking yeah, for. Yeah, he's got a psychic in the FBI now. When I go into a trance, I can see the crime, where it took place. I can't see his face. The cell, too. A new chapter begins. They were on the trail of a madman. I'm going to make you beg for death. Now. The only way to save his latest victim. You know exactly what he's doing. Thank you, Jericho. He's to enter the killer's mind. Do you want to do this? What is this place? This is my little playground. I can see what he sees right now. He knows we're here. Step inside. You're putting yourself in danger. The madness. If you get the shot, I expect you to take it. <laughs> The Starring two. Real Housewives Janice Dierko <laughs> and oh, CSI it's like, CSI New Orleans David Doof it's like let's do the cell but with a TV budget yeah <laughs> and yeah, it's like those, we don't have the technology those really, make her a psychic yeah, I know. I I actually think like, oh wow, they simplified it. That's good. Good for them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, what do you They're give like, the cell? Uh, the original. The cell trailer. Uh, I'll give it. I'll give it one point. I'm giving it two points. I thought the trailer was really good. Um, it was really intense, visually stunning. I loved it. J Lo, I love. Oh, Marissa's here. And Biddings. That's what Marissa's name is. Marissa is M Biddings in chat. Oh, I just. Oh, there we go. All right, that's why we haven't next, seen you in chat. Next time you submit, you should put Marissa. No, actually, don't do that because that, that that'll screw up the the scoring, won't it? If she puts something different, we could maybe fix it. But whatever, send me a DM whatever. if you care. But now you're on the board as Marissa. Um, I'm gonna give it two points. Chad gave it two points. Sam's giving it six point. No, you're giving it one point. A, I just thought it looked really point. cool. Um, all right, you want to update the points on that? Okay. <clears throat> okay. And we we're just talking Hannibal, so why don't we do that other one that we were talking about? Uh, what number did you say it was? It was twenty uh, twenty nine. 2029. 2029. Because I think that's a really funny description. It made me lol. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> okay. He looks really good in this, by the way. Ooh! I like the music. Who submitted the cell? Was it Marissa, Sam? Uh, no, wait. No, Mar it wasn't Marissa. Kitchen sliding door. Marissa submitted the one before. Nationwide. Sam rules AN. This is Will Graham of the FBI. One killer. This is what the subject's teeth look like. shooting at each other yeah or the wall but i mean each other but like not in like i think that was some creative editing or i don't think that's how it went together in the movie 
Have you ever seen blood in the moonlight well? Well, Brian Cox, he looks at his fuck too. Playing Hannibal Lecter. William, you're gonna make yourself sick or get yourself killed. Multiple trails. Just you and me now, sport. Love that scene. That scene is so fucking good. FBI agent Will Graham. Manhunter. That's a good. Uh, type Have you base seen that movie? Too. No, I know it's yeah. one of your favorite movies, though. Oh, it's rad. It's it's. I mean, like it's slow. It's definitely like more low key than Silence of the Lambs, but it is like it is classic uh, Michael Mann. Like I have seen the TV show sequel where the main guy retires as like a CSI in Las Vegas. <laughs> Yeah. I have seen that. I think it, I think it's funny because uh like in the the show um the Hannibal show which also has uh Will Graham, someone playing Will Graham. And this uh, just so people know also Manhunter and Red Dragon are the same story. They're both an adaptation of the book Red Dragon. Uh and so yeah, uh, the, the say the the description of this one. Okay, the the context here is 2029. Grissom from CSI plays Ed Norton. <laughs> uh, um, which I think is great because uh, Will William Peterson plays Ed Norton's character, or plays the same character that Ed Norton does in Red Dragon. And I think that's, that's really funny. Um, that movie, that movie, I think you would dig that movie based okay. on like the, the, it, that movie feels like a two hour version of the trailers you like. Okay. The one thing I'll say about this trailer is that like it had me. The music was cool. It had like this rhythm. And then all of a sudden it changes gears really fast and has this other song and then dudes are shooting and then it changes back to this like mellow beat to it. So I thought it was kind of jarring. Um I don't think it really helped the trailer. I well, I'll give it points for this is that um uh that song is yeah. uh is is on the soundtrack that is not a like a random song that they're throwing in that is a song that is part of the movie um the i think you will freaking love the style of that movie okay i really want you to see that movie I'll add it uh, to the queue can you make can you make uh like lists of movies that you want to watch on letterboxd Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, I just got on Letterboxd. I know some people in the Trailer Boys Discord were asking if I was on Letterboxd. Um, and now I am. I don't really know. I, I feel very boomery about it because I'm like, is it just. I don't want to write remo- write <laughs> reviews for movies, but I'll click on movies that I'll, I'll Oof, watch. Yeah. And sometimes um, you can, like, I know people that will just, like, put, like, you know, like, if there's a movie they like, you can just put, like, Oh, like I saw this, I liked it. And I the other thing about not leave a review. Letterboxed is um, if you go to miseryloves.us and scroll all the way to the bottom, Lobaka from chat. Ha- or actually, Lobaka's right there. Just said something right, right in my head. See that? Uh, Watch Lobaka, lists are great in that. It it may be with an account, but I get emails when things on my watch list become available on a streaming service. Oh, cool. So, uh, Lobaka has made a list on there of trailer boys season one and trailer boys season two so far. So, uh, if you want to see those lists, they're at the bottom of the submission form. Um, I'm on there as trailer boy, Nate. I don't know if there's like a social aspect where you can friend or unfriend people, but that's me on there. Trailer boy, Nate. Uh, uh, I got a question for chat and for those. Uh, um, uh, sorry, one of my lights is dead, and I don't feel like looking for the cord to plug. Okay, in. while you uh, talk to um, chat, I'm gonna go grab a beer. But I got a cool? question for chat. Yeah, yeah. Okay. About Manhunter. Uh, 
So I've seen, I think I've seen two versions of Manhunter. Is there a, uh, is there a director's cut out there? Because one scene that I really like in Manhunter is uh, the scene where he is talking about the murders of the first murder scene and he's like going through it and it shows the family and like all their eyes are like bright shiny. But I've, I'll, I think I've also seen a version where I was waiting for that to happen and that wasn't in there. So Al Mobes is saying, yes, there's that's is that that's in the director's cut. All right, there is a director's cut of Manhunter. And I think the director's cut also has a lot more with uh, Tom Noonan's uh, like love affair with, um, what's the actress's name, Karen Allen? No, there's two cuts I've seen. Um, who is that, the actress that plays the blind girl in it? Joan Allen, Joan Allen, thank you. That's the Mandela effect. Yeah. Uh, so that's the director's cut that has more Joan Allen and that. So Nate. Hello. The sparkly eye scene. Yeah. So you got to see the director's cut of Manhunter. It is, uh, you know, sometimes director's cuts are like kind of like, yeah, it's like kind of the same movie, but the director's cuts better. Uh, and there's this great scene. You get a little bit of it in the trailer. It's one of these things where like just watching it, it gives me kind of goosebumps where, uh, William Peterson is talking to himself in a diner. He's talking to his reflection in the window, like super intensely, but as if he's talking to the murderer in the movie and it's, it's, it's so like, like so over the top fun i mean yeah A 80s william peterson is the fucking best i love seeing him in movies i liked he him in um to live and die in la no the one where he was Do the that? dad fear. oh uh fear yeah, yeah. <laughs> did you ever see to live and die in la I no i didn't see it you, that, that one's good. You've told me about this, and I think I acquired it for you. Or is that a different movie? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Um, but you Clown should... Baby! What up, Clown If you baby? can't find the director's cut of Manhunter, you should acquire the director's cut of Manhunter and watch it. Got it. Acquiring... Okay. Um, what? I'm, I'm assuming you give that two points. Yeah, I give that two points. I'm going to give it one point because it's interesting... But that whole middle part where they changed the music and stuff, I was like, what, what's going on here? Um, <clears throat> that was submitted a bunch, but let me see. The person who submitted that, Danis, Dan Anus, Danis. And chat gave that two points. I gave it one, three, four, five, Sam. And if you're confused on how the points So wait, are Laser through, Shorts, you said the best part of To Live and Die in L.A. is the closing credits. Doesn't mean you don't like it and you were just like excited that it was over. Uh, I thought the car chase was the best part of To Live and Die in L.A. Laser Shorts loves the hot takes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I think technically that was my pick. Oh, did the car. All right. You genuinely like the... That, that car chase is the, to live and die in LA has the most Grand Theft Auto car chase I've ever seen. And it's the best, uh, it is the best, uh, uh, movie with, um, the best friend from, uh, Mad About You, the guy with the big forehead. I don't even remember that. Chat chat is with me on To Live and Die in LA. Okay. Trailer boys are back talking about To Live and Die in LA. <laughs> I, Ira, yeah, laser shorts. You're my guy. <laughs> uh, 
Squirt of the Vile. Have you seen the car chase into Live and Die in LA? It is like similar to Blues Brothers. It is like just so sloppy. So many cars just banging into each other and just like, yeah, I don't know. It's like a car chase in an LA traffic jam and it's great. All right. I want to see it now. Um, but watch Manhunter first, the director's cut. Love that movie. Uh, William Peterson is the original Nick Cage. Uh, there, I said it. Uh, cool. Flanda says, some great movies are on YouTube for free, in full. It would be super weird if To Live and Die in L.A. was one of them. <laughs> oh, I really hope that there's like one of those two hour long YouTube videos of like the Wikipedia page and a guy with like an Indian <laughs> accent reading the Wikipedia page. To live and die in LA. <laughs> to live and die to live in LA. And die in LA. <laughs> oh man, that was funny. <laughs> to live and die. <laughs> there is a do you know what movies uh, on um last week's winner is on YouTube? No, oh, somebody had mentioned that. All right, what's next, right. Sam? Is it me? Oh, it's yeah, me. it's you. Because right. I technically picked that one. Oh yeah. Um. Let's see. Do you want me to pick one? The highlighted um, ones, I just kind of pick so I don't lose them, you know? Let me see. <laughs> um, hold on. Right, you did want to see... I, I got one. I got one. I got one. Okay. You did want to see 1982, but there is a, another one further down I can pull out for you. Um, 2015. Highlight that. The remains of 25 boys kidnapped and killed by John Gacy over a period of six years were found buried in the crawl space of his house. A 26th body was found under the concrete floor of the garage. The 27th under the floorboards in the recreation room. John Wayne Gacy. The most vicious serial killer in American history. So clever. He prides himself on being able to trick people. It's the true story of Lieutenant Joe Kozensax. Did Gacy take Chris back to the house? The one cop who wouldn't give up. He's been getting away with this for a long time. Is that Margot Kidder? Our passionate cop. <laughs> There's a lot of tears in this trailer. plan that became the FBI's textbook on how to catch a serial killer. His own lawyer is begging us not to let this guy get away. Can't <sighs> deserves to die. Please, don't hurt me. Say please again. Michael Riley. Margot Kidder and Brian Dennehy is John Wayne Gacy to catch a killer. I gotta say, I went into that being like, this is going to be a really bad trailer, but it'll be fun to watch. That left me being like, oh, I actually want to see this. Um, That was called To Catch a Killer? To Catch... A killer. And what was the context? <laughs> the context was... Uh, this does, for John Wayne Gacy, a.k.a. Tommy Boy's dad, what Zodiac did for the Zodiac killer. <laughs> I, I saw that. That's why I highlighted that one, too. I was uh, like, great context. Boom. Uh, also, I, I, love, I love both these contexts have this game of like... Oh, I'm gonna just call this person by what? Like, I love Another referring character. to Brian Brian Dennehy as Tommy Boy's dad, <laughs> the guy from CSI, Especially, Gus Grisham. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> we fucking we fucking love FX here on Trailer Boys. FX, FX two, we fuck with that shit. You mean the channel or the movie? The movies, FX and FX two. Yeah, yeah. Brian. <laughs> Brian Dennehy? He was in those? Yeah. He was I the it cop. Was Robert Englund. 
No, you're but you're thinking of the other guy. But uh the other guy it was Brian Brown. It was the guy from Cocktail. Yes. Okay. He kind of looks like Robert Englund now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lamarca says, what about SFX Retaliator? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's some good trailer boys l- lore. Margot Kidder, a.k.a. Superman's girlfriend. I always thought she was really pretty. Ooh, Nate wants to kiss Margot Kidder. From Superman, uh, though. I give that two points. Um, I'm not going to give it any points. Oh, Chad so gave it two cool. points as well. It just, it didn't really hit me. It didn't give me what anything. Did, wait, what did the cell get? The cell got two points from you. How many uh, points, two from, points chat? from chat? Two points from chat, one point from you. Five okay, points. Five. Right. Sex retaliator, <laughs> yes. Um... Chad gave that two. You gave it two. I gave it none. That's four points. Who gets them? Uh, the four points go to. God damn it. Grimworld. Hey, Grimmy Grims. Grimmy Grims. Grimmy right. Grims. Okay. This one gets submitted a bunch. And I feel like we may need to read um, a couple of these uh, context because they were all good. The okay. Oh, hold on, I'm starting that over because I missed the title card. It starts off like that. These are Hugo's pussy cats. Hugo takes good care of his pets. He loves his cats and feeds them a very special recipe. Why did you stop? I found the right piece for my collection. He had the most original and unusual collection in the world. I'm going to show you something that only two people in the world know about. Who's the other person? That's a really elaborate stair set with the... How does the guy that lives in this house with this many cats get a girl to go all the way down to the, like, dungeon basement. <laughs> Too many cats? They are only a harmless pussycat. A thousand strong, they become a man-eating machine. After seeing this terrifying movie, you will never be able to look another cat in the eye. The management of this theater offers free burial insurance to anyone who dies of fright during the film. Caskets are optional on the West Coast. When the cats are hungry, run for your lives. <coughs> that looks awful. <laughs> that got submitted a bunch. I, wait. Question. Yes. Caskets optional if you're on the West Coast. Yeah. Because maybe you'll get like a natural burial. <laughs> those fucking... Those hippies <laughs> on the West Coast. Fucking vegetarians. Um, <laughs> oh. That was... Oh, what, what do you, do you, don't eat, you don't eat fish? I'm a vegan. Uh, <laughs> what movie? I don't, that's not the exact line, but like, uh, you're contaminating the crime scene. What is it? You don't eat, you don't eat fish. No, actually I'm a vegan. Shitty heat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I haven't, gonna, I haven't memorized that movie. You're going to go fucking play tennis. I haven't, I haven't either, but that was the spirit of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you... That's from Shitty Heat. Thank you, Schwingles. 
Uh, <laughs> Shitty Heat, a.k.a. Uh, Den of Thieves. Den of way, Thieves. If you haven't Shitty seen Den of Heat. Thieves, yeah. which we've watched. Um, this movie reminds me, I don't know if uh, Laser Shorts 2 is still in chat, but you have a video. Laser Shorts 2 had this video where him and another guy met this lady at a bar who was just talking about how she loves cats. And this is New York City. And she was like, you want to come over and I think have some drinks or something? Like an older lady. She's like, I hope you like cats. And was talking about their cats. And they're like, we have to see this. So they go to her apartment and she had 38 cats in her like one bedroom apartment. And it was... they had taken over so when they like opened the door they were like trying to get out she lived in a chicken wire box like she had made like a frame of chicken wire so she could sleep without the cats in her thing but they had taken over the whole thing crazy laser shorts too if you still have that video send that to me because that'd be a crazy thing to watch um but yeah (laughs) <laughs> he says I knew there was a chance I'd be killed but it was a chance I had to take the video is crazy if you explained it no one would believe it the video it's so fucking crazy anyway back to Night of a Thousand Cats crazy uh, there's so much weird shit with that movie like as a concept weird concept do you have uh, what were what were some highlights for you uh, the stairs they kept cutting back to that had all like the yeah. the candles on it. It's like, well, it's an elaborate like dungeon staircase. Also, it's like he lived in a castle. Um, yeah. And who was the other person? It He's looks- like, I want to show you something only two people know about. Who's who's the other person? <laughs> yeah. Somebody lived. <laughs> Uh, things I really liked uh, the boat scene where uh, you, it's it's, it's almost a, a, a twist <laughs> that it's so shallow. Where <laughs> you think she's like is stuck in the boat, you know? He's like yeah. like wait till like she has to swim at, at least, you know? Don't like uh, try and attack her in the shallow end. <laughs> it's like a foot of water. Uh, <laughs> I just love like the. Fuck you! Like the I got, we gotta watch that again. When he like spears her. Right, there we go. Oh, I cut right to it. He had the most original and unusual collection in the world. It's like, I'm going to <laughs> really show you not that, that only two people in the world know about. It's a lot of candles, and it's like. Yeah, it, uh, so let me just say to the chat into to, a corner also like <laughs> filled with weapons there's weapons all over the place there's shields uh, if you're at somebody's castle and he says I want to show you something don't go don't go yeah. that's when you leave that's like where's uh, your back yeah if, let me just if you do dr- yeah. if you do happen to go and you start to walk in and there are candles all the way down the stairs you're walking down don't go then also if you go a little further and there's like little like bunsen's and beakers and like liquids <laughs> bubbling and stuff don't go okay. there's a lot of chances there's a lot of red flags here that this lady missed yeah i mean but it was the 70s it was a different time she was like he's got a castle if this was today she'd be like <laughs> Instagramming like my new guy's got a castle and like she'd overlook all the red flags because he had a castle. She's like, Well, he does have these heads, but everyone has some problems, you know. Yeah. Guys, he's <laughs> who got doesn't a have castle. red flags? He's got a castle. And <laughs> he does like cats. I also love that the the spear or whatever she threw <laughs> hit the fence, open it up, and just cats were coming out of it. I loved it. Yeah, the guy, the guy's all on Tinder. He's like, uh, uh, oh, owns a castle, must love cats. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he gets them. That's how he gets them. Yeah. Um, okay, I'm going to give it one point because it was silly and weird, but it didn't get me to that two-point thing. Chad gave it two points. That's three points. Uh, I'll give it two points. That was, two is points. fascinating. Uh, it was five. a fun one. So I think it's... A, 
It's a five point trailer. That's you think it's a five point trailer? trailer? So that was. So again, that was submitted a bunch, but what we are giving that to. Oops. I think I accidentally deleted it. There we go. Um, who gets that? Lobaka gets the points. Uh, a Giallo film, like someone just discovered Color Red exists. Early slasher. Wait, nope. Nope. Sorry, that's the wrong one. Night of a Thousand Cats. Giallo. Giallo? All right, that's another one. Serial killer with a thousand cats, and I'm pretty sure at one point someone just off screen is throwing cats at the actress. <laughs> this trailer also comes with a guarantee for burial insurance if you die watching it. <clears throat> so that was good. Um, five points. But again, that was submitted a bunch. Uh, let me see. That is another one. A man kills people and feeds them to his thousand pussy cats. You can actually see footage of hundreds of small cats. At one point, the cats get loose and attack the final girl. And let me see. I know Flanja also submitted that later. Um, let me see. 1972, a millionaire serial killer. So we know he's a millionaire. That's why he has a castle. Who collects heads and feeds the remains to his army of house cats. Context mm. there. But the winner for that, Lobaka. At Lobaka. That point, aren't there, can't you refer to them as castle cats? Mm, no. <laughs> All right. Uh, pussy cats. This one. They say pussy cats a lot. They know what they're doing. Pussy cats. All right. You ready? When is it inappropriate to not say pussy cats? Like, when was the time where you could say pussy cat and it was okay? I guess when you say, uh, oh, Tom that person's Jones? not scary, they're just a pussycat. But other than that, when is it appropriate to say pussycat instead of cat? I know what song I want to do at, at karaoke. What's new pussycat? Flanger says, I live in a village where most of the folks here work in a local castle, and they're still called house cats. <laughs> is, that, is that true? Sure. He lives in Scotland. Scotsland? Scouts? Scotsland? Dear Martha, this is the first letter of this sort I have ever written. Hey, I'm grocery Ray bag. was a con man who made one mistake. He fell in love and took Martha along for the ride. I can arrange a meeting with a very nice woman in New Orleans. There's no harm in writing to somebody who's so gentle and and refined and whose sister is a nurse <laughs> ray and martha could have been the honeymoon lovers but martha's insane jealousy turned them into the honeymoon killers you here for my lawyer get the hell out of here can't leave her choke her i don't care what you do with her please <laughs> jealousy led martha and ray down one of the darkest paths in the annals of american crime you're the hottest bitch I've ever seen. And I don't have to take that from you. Oh, that's a great God. delivery. If you've never heard of Martha and Ray, see The Honeymoon Killers, then try to forget. She's in love with you. I can tell. So what? Uh, Jealousy turned each perfect setup into a nightmare. You that with your stupid jealousy you could have got me into trouble? I'd rather see you in jail than making love to another woman. If you've never heard of Martha and Ray, see the honeymoon killers, then try to forget them. I don't want the checks back. No, I don't want them back. I, I, I'm not going to call Sarah. All right. All right. I just want to go for a walk by myself and think things over. I just... If you've never heard of Martha and Ray, see the honeymoon killers, then just try to forget them. What if you have heard of Martha and Ray? <laughs> yeah. Then what? Um, <clears throat> I, I, I wanted to make a trailer that's like, hey, if you haven't seen Stevie and Kyle, then you gotta see this movie. <laughs> You're like, who's Stevie and Kyle? I don't know. You got to see it. You got to see the <laughs> Is that movie. the name of the characters? Yeah. Phoebe and Kyle? Yeah. 
You're no, like, no, well, no. you got to no, see no, it no. to find <laughs> out. You got to see it. You but you it. said Phoebe and Kyle. Then you're like, I saw the movie and there was no Phoebe and Kyle in it. And it's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you saw it. Um, that was a weird one because it kind of had like a vibe. Uh, it kind of gave me like John Waters vibes. Yeah. You know, something about like the the tone in the car when they were driving. Um I don't know. There's some. There's something uh, gritty about it. Um, I'll, I'll give it a point, but you know, it was it was a little too muddy for me. As far as like, I couldn't see what was going on as a trailer. It was too muddy. If that makes. How sense. do you mean muddy? Like 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 uh, the the narrative of the trailer visually. Yeah, then visually it was like they like chose like shots that like you like it was like unclear what you were looking at. It was like uh, unclear what the narrative of the trailer was. Everything was like very close, and you really couldn't tell what was going on. It was just like a little too, you know, like it felt. I think that's where I got the John Waters vibes from it, though. You know. Yeah. Um, so, uh, uh, Schwingles just threw down this fun fact, but this is actually in the the comments. Is originally the film was going to be directed by Martin Scorsese, but he was fired. Huh. The film was based on the real life murders from the forties, Raymond Fernandez and Martha Beck, who are known as the Lonely Hearts Killers. I did like the opening thing, um, but still, um, let me see, this part here, I really liked this. No more lonely nights for these two lucky people, but was it really luck? That's cool, right? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> all right. It doesn't look like a very popular trailer. <laughs> Um, there was something weird about it. I can't put my finger on it, but it did have like a weird, there was something off or on. And, and I think the reason you don't like it is probably this, the reason I do like it. So I'm going to give it one point. Chat hated it. Um, that, that got two it, points. No, that's a no. No, no. 12% from, yes. Got one point each from us. Oh, two points. Yeah. yeah. Who submitted that? That was submitted. Shringles again? Shringles, come on. Uh, this, um, We're running short on time. What sucks is there's a lot I want to get through, so we should bang out a couple. We are running short of time. Um, oh, that was Wei Hoon. Wei Hoon! Wei Brock, that was Brock Toon, no way, Hoon. Brock Toon? Does anyone know what Brock Toon is? No. It's an SNL reference, Brock Toon, anyone? Bueller? That's your favorite SNL sketch? One of my favorites. All right, moving along. Mr. Belvedere, Hendo got it. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Oh, yes. Trailer Boy's favorite. Is that Ruth Gordon? Ruth Gordon. Yeah. yeah. Ruth Gordon, season two's Jack Black. I, I don't know. We have a few. <laughs> don't go around murdering each other. May not be as difficult as you think. <laughs> it's not very perceptive of you to minimize the courage that it takes to kill. Why, it's just nerve with a dash of cruelty. Geraldine Page, Ruth Gordon. Whatever happened to Aunt Alice? Where is she? What a fraud you are! I don't care what you believe. 
Geraldine Page is Mrs. Maribel. Ruth Gordon is Mrs. Dimmock. One of them is a sweet little old lady. The other is a homicidal maniac. One of them is Aunt Alice. Was Aunt Alice the killer or the victim? Or both? to Aunt Alice is more terrifying than what happened to baby Jane. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this that had me. Uh I dug it and then there was like a great laugh at the end. And then something I never saw like a, a movie do where it was like this movie is more terrifying than that other movie. Be like, <laughs> if like, I know what you did last <clears throat> summer ended with, I know what you did last summer is more terrifying than Scream. <laughs> um, yeah. I think it's funny. Yeah. What I liked That's about funny. that was... It's like, probably not, because you're mentioning the other one. <laughs> if it was really terrifying, you probably wouldn't have to mention the other movie. Yeah. Um, I like that trailer up to the point where it's like, Ruth Gordon is the killer, and you're like, Ruth Gordon's the killer, she's this evil killer, and then it gets to a point, it's like, who is the killer? And you're like, oh, wait a minute, is she not the killer? And then, yeah. you know, you're like, oh, that's cool. So, I, I liked that, I liked that little twist. Um, there was I, I a like- little something missing for me, so I'm only going to give it a point. I'm going to give it two points because I thought that was really funny. The the move of like whatever happened to baby Jane. Uh, that was like <clears> a really <throat> funny move. I've never seen a trailer do really. Uh, and the other thing I'm giving it a point for is that uh, the, the wheelchair, <laughs> the wheelchair took that lady out. That was like a soft pushed wheelchair that yeah. brought a woman down. <laughs> <laughs> I liked it. <clears throat> um, I thought that was funny. But there was something that dis- didn't do it enough for me. That was submitted by The Beach That Makes You Old, and it says two old ladies, one of them, Ruth Gordon, live together, and one of them starts a killing people. Uh, 10 out of 10 trailer song. Was it really a song? Or was it just somebody I, saying whatever happened I did Alice like the, over and over again? That an- the, the sound design <clears throat> for it. 10 out of 10 yeah. sound design, maybe? Okay. You know, I, you know, I'm not, I'm not a prick. I'm not, I'm not like a, a stuck up prick who's like, um, actually that wasn't really a song like some other people who are hosting this show. I am. <laughs> Fuck you guys. Oh. That wasn't a fucking song. Just because it's oh. sound doesn't make it a song in your like avant-garde idea of what music is. Fuck you. That wasn't any which way but loose. <laughs> any which, which way, way but loose. Okay. Uh, uh, let's see it, Sam. We have so many good movies that I think... Uh, sorry. We rabbit hole a bit too much, but... Yeah. And again, Left. there's a few people in here being like, hey, you haven't selected my thing. I, I don't really have the names here. And, you know... It's alive. It's alive. Can you hear me? It can't be safe. It's gotta die. It's alive. It's alive. Why are you so anxious to be the one to do it? It's alive. Doctor! I need a time here! Do you know who that guy saved from? It's coming to me. Give me a sec. Nobody knows how this thing happened. It, it's really a matter of speculation, and I think perhaps that's for the best. After all, if we find out that the cause when, is when you When you're stumped, I'll, I'll give you a hint. And it was administered over a long period of time. Well, it, what do your interests recommend? Absolute destruction of this thing. <laughs> It 
It went down the storm drains. That's how it can travel the length of the city without anybody seeing it. Don't touch me. Don't Give me a hit. Don't touch me. Don't fuck they this up, Mitchell! Come on, get down. Did you see it? Did you see it? What does it look like? Huh? What are you get afraid of? Get those cameras out of my face, please. I got no comment. I had nothing to do with this. Will you get that thing out of my face? Is he the dean from Animal House? He could have killed you. You know why he did? He's the principal from Fury Cop Yes. Okay. Shit. Yes. And he gets punched. Yeah. And he's on the ground and everyone's telling Jerry to like fight the guy. And he goes, don't fuck this up, Mitchell. Radioactive material or undergone extensive x-rays. No, Dr. I told you. Can't rule out genetic damage. So I actually, uh, Yellow films traditionally have absolutely no plot. So I actually oh. like, you know, like I, I, I knew the term giallo film and, but I actually didn't know what, where the term came from. And it's, uh, a, it's Italian. It's a reference to, uh, their Italian suspense mystery in like horror movies and, but really what it came from was there was like a series of uh, Italian suspense novels that all had yellow covers. And so giallo is the Italian word for yellow. Oh, I thought it was the guy's name. No. The context of uh, this is really cool. Fetishist horror no. based in pulp works means yellow, yeah. Uh, really it's, cool. Yeah, it's like Pulp Fiction, basically. 1964 Italian horror movie, part of the giallo genre of neon lit horror pulp films. Yeah. And uh, they uh, mostly have like, a, um, there's a lot of like horror films with like detectives in them, like as part of the like, you know, so it's like a mystery horror. It's like, uh, did you see... Um, uh, what was that movie that came out? It was fun. Um, uh, the J- J- no, the James Wan one that was just out. Um, what has James Wan done? Because I feel like recently I've watched a bunch of James Wan movies. The uh, Malignant, yes, Malignant. That's the one I'm thinking of. Is is like a kind of giallo nod. Okay, yeah. I watch Malignant because you recommended it. Um, and I liked it. I thought it was good. Sorry, all the mic noise. But like how it is this kind of like crime mystery horror. Yeah, I liked it. Um, chat gave that two points. I'm going to give it one point because it was long and I didn't like it as much as my the previous yeah. uh, Italian one. Give it one point too. Okay, so that was submitted by Alex Mobes, Blood and Black Lace. Al Mobes. Four points. <gasps> Four points. Sam, let's keep the train rolling. How many... Here's the thing. It's quarter of midnight. We did start a little late, but how many trailers do you think we have left in us each? Two. All right. Two. Right. Two, so, two, two. Sounding the bell. Okay. Did we have an Avalanche Fan 84 trailer yet? We did. And they submitted a we few did. that I wanted to watch. But now I feel like like 1971 looks really good. But I think someone else also put that in. Uh, 1987. That one. Yeah, that that's what I was going to go for. Okay, yeah. I'll, I'll go with 1987.
as it has been, our top story tonight continues to be the ongoing search for a serial killer. Guy comes in here, cuts another guy's head off, walks off with it, and nobody sees anything, no witnesses? The lab says it wasn't human. It says it was lamb's blood. A detective is about to test his faith. All the victims were 33 years old, the same age as Christ when he died. The guy's rebuilding the body of Christ. And his... Kind of looks like that guy that played Punisher in the movie. What's that guy's name? The Australian guy? Tom Jane? Yeah, it kind of looks like Tom Jane. Christopher, Christopher Lambert. Lambert. Hold on. How do you pronounce it in the trailer just now? I think Lambert. Christopher Lambert. Lambert, RT. RT, I think that's wrong, Lambert. right? In Highlander, it's Lambert. Question your sanity. And have mercy on your soul. Because I love the voiceover. Has arrived. From the director of Highlander and The Shadow comes a horror. Ooh, The Shadow! About two cops who must find a madman before it's too late. Be afraid. Oh, the one cop is the guy from Seven. For he gets yeah. that thing put on his dick. Resurrect. Get this thing off me! Resurrection. Um, um, that was silly. That had seven vibes very too. Silly, yeah, like it felt like seven. I like. I like that it's like everyone that's murdered is thirty three, uh, <laughs> where it's like the same age as Jesus. Everyone that's been murdered is thirty three. The same number that Larry Bird wore on the Celtics. You know, like. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Let me ask you, does anyone in chat, does this movie have any connection to Seven? Because remember Seven, it was like the Seven Deadly Sins, and it this kind of looked Chicago-y, right? Uh, the cops looked like Chicago cops. Well, seven's uh, L.A. Seven's L.A.? Oh, I thought Seven was yeah. Chicago. Okay. Nope. Because uh, uh, they, they go out to the desert, remember? Yeah. The desert of Illinois. <laughs> the Illinois desert? The Illinois desert. Yeah. Was it raining in the trailer? I already forgot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <coughs> um, no direct connection, just tonally similar. Did I, was I the only one that got got that vibe? Like he kind of felt like seven. Is never stated what city it is. Oh, okay. But I mean, it's L.A. You know, it's L.A. Oops. City's supposed to be anonymous, but if it was supposed to be anonymous, why go to the desert that's like and be like, here's the desert that's like an hour outside of this city? Okay. Um, that's not Chad, Las Vegas. Chad gave it one point, and you know what? I'm going to give it one point. I'm going to give it one point also. All right. Three points. Going to. The Ilium works. The context, Sam During, a serial killer is build is building the body of Christ out of victims and Christopher Lambert is to stop him. Oh, that's not even in the trailer that he's building a body out of victims. I wish that was. That'd be better. But yeah. Ilium works, you're on the board. I don't know if that's technically Sam During just because it wasn't like a Christian movie. And yeah, it has to be a Christian movie. That's Catholic Sam parts Dring. to it. All right. Uh, moving right along, because if we only have two more each, uh, I had a good one, not a good one, but there was one I was like, oh right, yeah, here it is. All right. I wanted to see this based on the context. Oh, I hate these scream trailers that tell you what it is so before you watch it. I think we should get together. Oop, 90s? No. Did you like the 90s? Out 
by 16 or dead in the scene, but together forever. United against life as we know it. Let's get out of here. Big dog, maybe? Whoa. Whoa? That's it? Whoa? Think you see werewolves a lot? Did I change last night? Howl at the moon? How do you feel? Wicked. This is a very confusing time for your sister. Ah! Boys, their body, trying to fit in. Hey, hey, take it easy. Who's the guy? Oh, she's pretty. If I wasn't here, would you eat her? Poor bee. I'm growing up, and obviously you're not. Ah! Oh my god. You think I want to go back to being nobody? You're so dead. <laughs> yes! They're just being normal teenage girls. I'm not dying in this room with you! I'm not dying! I think she's gone. If you like yellow jackets, you'll love We're ginger not snaps. Not anymore. <laughs> okay. Come on, come on. I think this is disqualified. I don't think this is a serial killer movie. This is a supernatural slash monster movie. This is a monster movie? Okay. All right, Shreels, you don't have to hide. I'm with you guys. I'm with you. I wanted to watch the trailer. I think it was a good trailer. It would have done good on another night. Rex Bosworth, Champion of Man. Can't give you points for that. We're, I think it was off theme. Sam, you're up next. We're not voting. Big Row, relax. Mm -hmm. I feel we should watch another one because that one didn't count. And I already oh, had yeah, it picked yeah. up. All right. Okay. <clears throat> I'm sorry. My dad can get cranky sometimes. As your father, I forbid you to marry. He sure has a temper on him. He likes to shout. I like to smile. <laughs> you cheesy old cornball. Imagine me stroking your clitoris with a pink feather. Yeah, that's what I am. I'm a cheesy old cornball. <laughs> I kind of like it. Hey, stop talking to the customer and help dad with his shorts. Imagine if I farted now. I love you. Like this? I don't know if I'm doing it right, Janet. Is this right? Kiss my juicy cherry lips. My dad might be the priest he strangled. I'm officially dating Janet. I'm the Spider-Man of Cocktown. <gasps> bullshit artist! Bullshit artist! I call bullshit on that! Bullshit artist! You're covered in horse shit! You can be my forever love. You claimed her pussy, but you never claimed her heart! <laughs> Braden. Thanks, Dad. That means a lot coming from you. <laughs> that was so weird. Uh, I want to give a shout out. I'm going to give a bonus point 
because the person that submitted this edited it to make it safer stream. Oh. Elijah would co produce this movie. Interesting. Looking at this. That means a lot coming from you. All right, there we go. Um, yeah, a few people submitted this and then said, P.S., it's not safe for work. And then somebody submitted this one. They were like, couldn't find a safer stream one. So I edited, uh, edited, edited, edited. So, barely safe. It's safe enough. It has, you know, shit blocked out on it. Um, what the fuck is the only way to describe this movie about a very greasy killer? Um, if this movie was submitted more than once, this is the safest one since there's a lot of potential TOS. So, I cut together a censored version. There you go. Good job. Um... The Greasy Strangler. That was weird as shit. Um, I've never heard of that movie, but a lot of people in chat, it looked like you guys had seen it, and some people were like, I didn't like it. Yeah. I'm not going to give it a point, because it, it kind of seems like that, that kind of thing of like, oh, we're going to make it so fucking weird. This is going to be so weird. Wait, is this an Italian movie? Is it? Or no? I don't know. Okay, it's not Italian. All right, I'll give it a... I'll give it a point. I'm giving it a bonus point for the effort put in for the stream. Yeah, Much yeah, appreciated. it's a bonus point. Um, I'm going to give it a point as far as content is, because it was fucking weird. And uh, I like weird. I like weird. I'm going to give it a point because it seemed uh, uh, plain in its weirdness, I would say. It was plain? It was... How do you mean? It was like in that like... Like, oh, I'm going to put on a turtleneck and get my hair all greasy and get the weirdest looking actors I can to have an unlikely romance and have them talk like, oh... I want to see your, your your pussy on my dick, and I will talk very weird. And it's there's something like very like Tim and know, Eric because that that feels like very like Tim and Eric, but like not Tim and Eric. Like yeah, le less than Tim and Eric. Like is Elijah Woods in the movie, or has he just produced it? Forced. Scott, yeah, I hear you saying forced. Contrived, yes, contrived. Is that what you're looking for, Sam? Yeah, yeah, a little contrived. A little, like... Yeah. Check it with two points. Yeah, I'm going to give it, it like one a horror point. Napoleon Dynamite, yeah. So is that zero from you? Zero from me. All right, that's going to get four points total. And that goes to Big Girl 1. Much appreciated for the dedication to the game. Um, hey. I think we blew our trailer load early. But there's some good shit in here, but I'm not sure what is what. I have one more, right? You have one more. And you have two more? Or one more? One more. Okay. Which there is like a a ton got submitted since we started the game, too. I do. Oh, I got to watch this one. And I think no one else submitted this one. It got submitted while we were watching this. And there's a little weird factoid about this movie. That's weird. A weird. This one's long. How would you like to disappear? Disappear? Go undercover. Oh, wow. You know this man. 
Is that Al Pacino? Yeah. These victims are all the same physical type. What about him, Skip? Late 20s, 140, 150 pounds. Dark hair, dark eyes. Have you ever seen him before? I want to send you out there to see if you can attract this guy. How where? A New York City detective in search of a killer is about to disappear into the night. Is it dangerous? I can't talk about it. Is that Marco Kidder? No. Who's that? She's from uh, Animal House. She was like Boone's girlfriend. And then she bangs like Donald Sutherland. To the edge of city life. Right? Yeah. No, no, that's Karen Allen from uh, There's this uh, uh, name keeps popping up all the time. Indiana Jones. There he is. The one with the hat. Is that the one that followed you? Yeah. Why didn't you go with him? I don't know. I think you should check him. I like her more than Margot Ketter. Yeah. Manhunter poster in the gay bar. Nice. He's the wrong guy. Prince don't match. What he sees. Who's here? What he feels. I don't think I can do the job, Captain. I don't think I can handle it. I'm here. There's just stuff going down. I don't think I can. Uh, I can deal with it. <laughs> it's like, I- I've sucked so many dicks, and I still have not caught the zero killer. <laughs> what he experiences. They're like, we, you know, we don't really what have any discovers. reason to believe that the serial killer is in life. this whole gay <laughs> cruising scene. You don't have to oh. suck the dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he just killed dudes. It doesn't make the, he's not gay. He just killed guys. You're going undercover at this leather bar, yeah. sucking all these guys' dicks. That's on you. That's the leads that, that are taking you there. Um... I'm sure somebody uh, has some background info of this movie because I've, I've I've heard this is interesting. Um, so here's the crazy thing. Um, I think I I think it's something like this script was going around Hollywood for. Or, I forget exactly what the thing is. I'll have to look this up. But basically, do you know? Uh, so that's directed by William Friedkin. Uh, do you know the the movie The Exorcist? Of course, right? Yes. Uh, do you remember? There's the scene where she's getting an MRI in The Exorcist. No. There's a scene where they're giving her an MRI. She's seeing Satan. Well, there's a guy that plays the MRI technician in The Exorcist. And uh, it turned out he was a serial killer. And that the inspired actor. William, the, the actor, I think it was actually like a, uh, uh, a x-ray technician or an MRI technician uh, that they were just like, let's have to do this thing. And he, uh, he was really a serial killer. And that like was like, uh, William Friedkin was like, oh, I should do this movie based on him. I forget exactly what that is. Let me look that up. Is this the movie that James Franco was trying to do a remake of? Uh, no, I think James Franco was like uh, making students from his acting school have sex with him. <laughs> I think that's what it was. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> wait. We just got a huge raid, Sam. Oh, who'd we get a raid from? I don't know. I don't. I don't have the dashboard up. Huge raid. Let me back it up a little. Oh yeah, I was like, all these channel things are coming up. Sorry. <laughs> We're talking about cruising. We're talking Holy about the gay shit. bar. Did you guys see it? Did any? Did anyone see uh, the scene? 
Chapo. <laughs> oh, from Chapo Trap House. Oh, Chapo Trap House. Sick. Sick. Chapo Trap Welcome House. Trap House. Raid. Sick. Uh, oh. So. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Chapo <laughs> Trap House. Welcome to the Whitest Kids channel. Just a little explanation is here. Uh. I am Sam. I was on the show Whitest Kids, and we were, we're still doing stuff. We're still making a movie. Uh, and uh, what one of the guys in the group quit, in a way. Uh, <laughs> this is my brother, Nate. Uh, we do a show every Sunday, and uh, we watch movie trailers, and we give them points. And... Um, yeah, uh, and the the fans submit trailers. Um, and so we just watched a movie called Cruising, and I want to cut back to a part, and it's really funny because it's like, like um, Al Pacino is an undercover cop going into these gay bars, and it's like I haven't seen the movie. Is Al Pacino gay in the movie? Is he a gay man? No. Okay. I, I don't so, think he is. So he has to go undercover and like bang all these dudes to find the killer. I think so. Because he's right, like, I'm like, in deep. Be a, be a part of the nightlife and stuff. They're wearing a lot. I don't know what this scene's about. But it's kind of odd. But there's a lot of this working out. There's a lot of like him staring at dude. Like this part here, he's like, this is where he's getting too deep into the undercover. It's like something's awakening inside of him. <laughs> like this part here. What it's like... I don't think I fucking... Can do job, Captain. Oh. I don't think I can handle it. <laughs> Someone said, uh, uh, Nate said gay man like, uh, people would say Goldman. Gay, gay man. man. Yeah. Neil Gaiman. Yes! I'm gonna fuck that shit! Gonna... Like, this is creepy. Yeah, this He's like smiling now. He's like, yeah. Oh! Uh, I think, I, yeah, I think, you know, he's kind of of the uh, Kinseyan scale, where he's like, it's a spectrum, you know? Yeah. He's uh, way on one end of the spectrum, though. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. It's like, gotta fucking go to work. Suck that dick. Cruising. Uh... I, I hope at the end of the movie they, they don't <laughs> catch the serial killer, but it just, like, ends of him, like... The things I do right. to be a cop. So, uh, Philip D'Antoni, who produced Friedkin's 1971 film, The French Connection, approached Friedkin with the idea of directing a film based on New York Times reporter Gerald Walker's 1970 novel, Cruisin', about, I say cru it's cruising with a G, about a serial killer targeting New York City's gay community. Friedkin was not particularly interested in the project. D'Antoni tried to attach Steven Spielberg, but they were not able to uh, interest the studio. A few years later, Jerry Weintraub brought the idea back to Friedkin. He st still wasn't interested. Friedkin <laughs> changed his mind following a series of unsolved killings in gay leather bars in the early 1970s in the articles written by the uh, about the murders in the Village Voice by journalist Arthur Bell. Friedkin also knew police officer named Randy Jurgensen, who had gone into the same sort of deep cover that Pacino's Steve Burns did to investigate the, the gay murders. And... Paul Bateson, a doctor's assistant who had appeared in Friedkin's 1973 film, The Exorcist, uh, was being prosecuted for another murder, was implicated but never charged in six leather bar murders. Wow. All of these facts gave Friedkin the angle he wanted to pursue the film. He was like, people have died. I guess I'm ready. <laughs> How many people have to die in gay leather bars for you to just take this movie? <laughs> um, like, well, we got the six plus the ones that the Village Voice were writing about, and uh, it was a really good article. <laughs> All right, chat gave that um, two points. And if you're new and you're like, "How do the points work?" 
it's a Gooby Wood scale. And where is that? Sorry, buds. Here we go. Uh, critical reaction to the film was highly negative in the LGBT activists publicly protested against cruising. However, critical opinion was harmed, uh, has harmed somewhat, or no, has warmed somewhat over the years. Mm. Mm. Um, it, it is the, so wait, is the movie, do you, do, I haven't seen it. Has Do, do people think the movie is problematic did, did the people think the movie uh i mean you know going it, on a gay sabbatical it probably what? has some problematic parts just based on the year and the topic it probably does what what do you think is more problematic the movie or nate's jokes about the movie <laughs> or my jo- <laughs> my jokes problematic <laughs> yeah no i mean i don't know are they? They shouldn't be. No, no, they're not that. Not I mean, it's funny problem. if like a cop's like uh-huh. straight and he's like, I'm going undercover in a gay bar. And he's like, ah, I'm in too deep. I'm doing things I didn't think I'd have to do. <laughs> Nate's jokes 100%. <laughs> Thanks, Scares. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. I'll take the heat for it. Um, if the cop goes, if, if it's Al Pacino the whole time going, this is icky. <laughs> Ew! Ew! Uh, it's basically that. that I, I, I just like the part where he's like lifting, and then it cuts to like him looking at a guy lifting, and he's like smiling. It's a it's a weird ass movie. Uh, the Safdie brothers named this as an influence on their work. I mean, I haven't seen it, but all the Safety movies are fairly uncomfortable, so this could be interesting. I would watch this. I, I did think that I read something where James Franco was saying he wanted to do a remake of this, but it was like right before all that sketchy James Franco stuff happened. I think chat... Um, I, I missed a vote. Can someone tell me what it was? I'm going to give uh, it two points. I thought it was a cool trailer. I thought like the beat of it was really cool. It... It had like a, a a nice pacing, especially towards the end, you know. Uh, Seventy five points, interesting. I was oh two. How was, I remember? How yeah, was, it was two points, just barely seventy five. So that's two points. How was the Chapo Trap House stream tonight? I I didn't see it. I was here. Oh really? Yeah. I thought you were watching it. No, I was doing this show. Oh yeah, that's right. We're Does anyone show. in chat know how the chat? Okay. <laughs> how are our chap ho chap tra- chapo trap house? Okay, I can't talk at all. Mm. Oh, I think he made some pretentious think? James Franco thing where it was a documentary that reimagines the missing footage of cruising. Is there missing footage? Did they? Is there like an other edit? Interesting. Okay. Oh well, there. Wait. Oh, there's. Ooh, uh, I love when we get the deep stuff. Um, Sam, how there many points? How, how many points did you give that though? I'll give it two. Okay, two points. I thought it was it was you know like it was on the edge, you know. It okay. felt different. And do you have one more? Because I have one more. Uh, All right, let, let's keep it going a little because okay. you know, we just got raided. Okay, so. Who submitted that? I, I what was one. the context of it? Oh, I got one lined up. Uh, you you submitted uh, cruising. You put in cruising. Just to let you yeah, guys know um, from the Chapo Trap House, we don't submit the trailers. Chat submits the trailers to this website, and we find them and put them in. The and uh, uh, the winner or not the one the person who submitted cruising was Nick Rock Lobster. And what oh, was the total on that? I think it's a new name. Two from me, two from chat, two from you. Oh, that's six points. I just thought the trailer was really good. I mean, Al Pacino was great in the 70s. Yeah. I mean, where would you say, like, the peak Al Pacino is? Like, um... Uh... Young Al Pacino is real good. I mean, yeah. like, 
But the best movie he's been in. I want to. I want to see if you'll if you'll get this. The best Al Pacino movie. Jack and Jill. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Everyone knows that. Yeah, everyone knows that. Okay, got it. Brother Pacino. Pacino. Al Pacino. All right. Uh, next Burn trailer. This. Make sure no one sees. It. <laughs> All right, we're going next. <clears throat> problematic. <laughs> the problematic button went off. Oh no. Sorry. This could be problematic. Oh. I don't like this. So, oh. Ooh. In 18th century France, Jean-Baptiste Grenouille was born with a talent that made him unique among mankind. Stones. Warm stones. Water. Frog. His phenomenal sense of smell was a gift that had been given to him. Do you know who that is? Uh, Q. Even better. Master, can I come to work for you? The guy Why with the piss stains from well. Nathan Barton. No man can do Nathan Barton. Barton. A What's that? Barton. Paddington. He has proved his worth. That's the voice of Paddington? The beings is their yeah. scent. <laughs> the intoxicating hey. power of the girl's smell made it clear to him that he must learn how to preserve scent so that never again would he lose such sublime beauty. This seems like a children's movie so far. <gasps> what kind of children's movies are you watching, mate? I like Run Lola Run. Is that her skin? I'm creating a perfume. Each perfume contains three chords, 12 notes in all. There's a murderer out there! One can only create a truly original perfume by adding one essence that will bring out... Whatever his insane scheme, it will surely be incomplete without you. This is it just redheads? Perfume of such power that every person on Earth believed they were in paradise. Perfume, the story of a murder. Spoiler! <laughs> if you told me the concept of this movie, I'd be like, fuck you, that's not a real movie. <laughs> <laughs> this was actually uh, the second submitted movie. Ben Wishaw and... Oh, sorry, fuck, let me see. What does it say? Uh... Ben Wishaw and Dustin Hoffman star in this period piece about a man who kills his victims for the perfect per perfume ingredient. Silly. But the trailer makes it sound even sillier. Like, the end? Come on. That's ridiculous. I would... I'm, I'm laughing. Not a real movie? Is that not a real movie? No, it's a real movie. <sighs> the book was Kurt Cobain's favorite? Really? It looks ridiculous. Well, to be fair, Kurt Cobain wasn't known for his taste in books. That guy liked um, books better. Maybe he'd still be here. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, Let me put the poll up. I get worse at polls the more beers I do. The movie is called Perfume. And you can vote now. If you're new to the show, remember, this is how the voting goes. Is there's a point system. So, you only have to vote yes or no, and it's a vibe. Like, I like the trailer, I didn't like the trailer. It, you don't have to see the movie. We're just talking about the trailer. So, if chat gives it anywhere here, this is how the points work, pretty much. But, if it gets 100%, which has only happened, I think, once or twice, that's four points from chat. Um, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I thought it was silly. The, like, it, 
I didn't like I'm it. giving it a I'm giving it a, a, a silly point. I'll, I'll say that I'm giving that a silly point for the run Lola run techno techno type score. Did it have a techno type score? That like boom boom tsh, do, boom. Does work. The soul of beings is their scent. In 18th century France, it like towards the end it like picks up. A perfume of such power. This is where it's silly. Yeah, totally. A perfume so powerful. Silly. Chat gave it two points. God damn, chat. What's wrong with you? Okay. It Sure. It's worth a point. I'll give it one point. <laughs> That's him, the perfume guy. He must be killing all the redheads. <laughs> Get him! Yeah, all this perfume smells like redheads. <laughs> you know how redheads smell all weird? <laughs> You know how like redheads keep dying, but then there's like that perfume that smells like redheads. You think there's a coincidence? Like there's a connection yeah. to that? You know, you know, gingers, they smell weird. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, hmm. all right, Sam, how many points do you give that? Uh, I will give that one point for the oh, one point for silly, silly, one point for, for me, silly. two points yeah, from chat, four points to Shaboy the Tom, Shaboy the Tom. Sam, the ball is in your cart. My cart. All right. Um, the. This one I've seen before, and I remember being a good trailer. Not really a huge fan of this director, but I remember liking the trailer. Your house is a fine little house, Jack. I was thinking there might be rules. Let me put it this way. Very few make it all the way without uttering a word. But do carry on merrily, just don't believe you're going to tell me something I haven't heard before. That was maybe a mistake. You don't like Lars von Trier movies, but you like his political statements. Is that what you're saying? You. you might as well be a serial killer. Sorry, but you do kind of look like one. It's a singles too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Seems weird with the trailer. Is that just me? If you feel like screaming, I definitely think that you should. <laughs> Nobody wants the help! Some people claim that the atrocities we commit in our fiction are those inner desires which we cannot commit in our controlled civilization. So they are expressed instead through our art. I don't agree. I believe heaven and hell are one and the same. The soul belongs to heaven and the body to hell. think about all the things I've done in my life without in any way resulting in punishment.
like that logo part. That's kind of hot. The right old there. cathedrals often have sublime artworks hidden away in the darkest corners for only God. Those are like a minute left of this trailer. The same goes for murder. Is it like two that, trailers? This is, I think this is the second trailer. Bonus trailer! Okay. I liked it. It was it was pretty brutal for a trailer. Yeah. Um uh, what do you guys think? See what chat thinks. Trailer overtime. Oh oh overtime. I like Matt Dillon. I think he's a good actor. Yeah. I I don't know if I like that trailer though. Like that's a movie I won't see. The trailer no. looked a bit too brutal, so I was like, eh, I don't know. Well that's the thing. That's the thing. While that trailer looked a little too brutal for me, like I you know, like I don't really like you know, like that's the thing with like Lars von Trier's movies is I'm uh, the you know, like uh, someone before referred to them to me as uh, uh, depression porn, and I'm like, oh, I, I get that. Uh, and so I'm not like the biggest fan. And uh, I saw that trailer. I'm probably never gonna watch that movie, but I liked the trailer. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's why we're, that's why we're trailer boys. It's because we don't got to watch the whole movie. We watch the trailers. Exactly. That's why trailer yeah. boys are trailer boys. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> let me see. I'm just going through looking for. There's a bunch of new stuff too. If you want to keep going, all right. So I, I probably should should end it up soon. We've been okay. doing some bonus. Okay. How about one more each? Uh, I, you can do one more. I'm not going to do one more. All right. I'm going to do this one. Oh, actually, so wait, how much was that? That was two points from chat and two points from me. And oh, how many from you? Oh, give it two points. It was weird enough. That's it. Gave me my 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 weird. Uh, I got weird vibes from it. You know, I have to I double like check this. But that was a after the show started trailer, and that one goes to Andy Man, I believe. I'm gonna make sure that no one else submitted that though. But you you can start your next trailer. All right. Uh, now I'm trying to look to make sure we don't um, pick one that someone's already submitted. Or uh, there is one from Fla Do we do a flanger yet? I don't think we have done a flanger. So I'm looking at either 2039 or 2045. I'll let you pick between those two. So the last one will be kind of between us. What do you think? We do have a lot of people submitting trailers now after we started the show, but it is definitely stuff that we either watched earlier or somebody's already submitted. All right, let's, let's do 2039. 2039. Okay. <laughs> I don't think we did a Marth one. Marth, you've already won. Uh, let me see. I, I, I'm sorry, Marth. I, I, I'm not not picking you. I'm just not... I don't really look at the names the people that submit. Towards the end, I just don't want to pick something from somebody that's already submitted, so now I'm kind of looking at it. But I'm not looking at who submitted it and why to pick it. I'm looking at something that I like and then seeing who submitted it so I don't, you know, double it down. All right. 2039. All right.
I thought this was the 70s or something, and then that is like Jennifer Conley, right? Eight, 1985. Whoa. Is that the guy from Halloween? Yes. The phone. Very particular wind. Typical of this part of the country. It comes from the Alps. The blasts of warm air cause snow avalanches. While it blows, there are those who say it causes madness. That. Have you any idea why they behave like that? Never done this before. It's probably because of me. I guess they sense the mood I'm in. She is not afraid of you. you. Won't do that for me. Ask him to lead you where the dead bodies are hidden, and he'll lead you. That fly is your magic wand. It's perfectly normal for insects to be slightly telepathic. Yeah, it's normal for insects. But am I normal? I love you. I love you all. I like the music. And chat, I do see you're saying, and I'm, and I'm in, I'm thinking the same thing. Or... I don't know if we can vote on this, Sam. Uh, I think this is supernatural, and we're looking for serial killers. But wait, we we don't know. I mean, we didn't watch any Zodiac Killer ones, and there was a bunch of different Zodiac Killer movies. Is that right? I think that I, I thought that the plot revolved around. I know she's got a, su- a supernatural thing going or going on, but I thought the plot was about like. Are you forgetting there was like the the scissor stabbing and all that early on in the trailer, and the head getting cut off and all that. That seemed non supernatural and more like a, a a serial killer. Okay. Hey, it's your show. It's like yeah, yeah. Someone was just saying it's like the cell. I think that's a good point. And hey, if you disagree, show it in your vote. But I I didn't get the 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 idea that Jennifer Conley was necessarily the killer in the movie. Uh, I get like like the and the guy said himself the flies will lead you to the dead bodies. I haven't seen it. Has anyone seen it? I haven't seen it. The vote is up. It's, it's a, a fancy, fancy pants pa- all girls school, and a deranged person is killing girls, and Jennifer Connelly uses her magic bug to find the killer. Okay, okay, there fuck we go. Fuck you, Nate Brown. Fuck you, Nate Brown. <laughs> Wait, did someone say fuck you, Nate Brown? No, no, that's I. Yes, yes, someone did, and he's related to you. Fuck you, <laughs> Sam. All right. Uh, uh, so the supernatural yeah. wasn't necessarily a person killing, but the other person finding the bodies. All right, it tracks. Yeah. Okay, there we go. No, I mean, uh, like I thought that was a rad trailer. I'm giving it two points. If you don't agree, choose or lose, buddies. I think it looked cool. The music was dope. Um, it looked cool. I've never seen it. I've never heard of it. Um, I assume Goblin did it. Whoa! Chat voted poorly. Negatively. Negatively. Uh, they gave it one point. They got one point. I want to give it a point. I'm going to give it two points. I thought it was great. and I, I got the whole vibe that there was a serial killer in there. Okay. And I that mean, was a flanger thing. 
the serial killer wasn't filling a tank with water in 48 minutes that would drown a girl, but hey, I don't know. we're not well, all They can't all be the cell. All right. Yeah. The things we have left to do, Sam, are mm-hmm. trailer of the week, unless you have another one that you were sitting on that you wanted to watch. No, I got to go. I got to go. Theme a- for next week. All right. So trailer of the week, Sam. All right, well, let's Sam's first, battleship. Uh, uh, <laughs> first, let's uh, 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 do the trailer of the weeks. The M. I want to see that one. Uh, the town that dreaded sundown. Uh, murder by phone. A good week. Okay. Yeah, I feel we had a lot more quality movie trailers uh, than we had like schlocky garbage ones that I like. Did we forget to put some scores down? I don't think so. We didn't. I don't. I don't think we watched as many trailers as we normally do. Murder by phone. I feel like we we missed some, but all right. Some of these that we did watch were submitted if you're looking at the list and you're like we watch this it could be somewhere else all right uh anyway uh oh all right um i have m the town that dreaded sun's down murder by phone Oh, okay. And then uh, after that, it would be the house that Jack built and cruising. All right. We're going to put this up for three minutes. So if you're one of those people that watches the show but doesn't vote, like you have it on in the background or you have it on the TV and you're doing work or something and you're listening to it right now, you do have time to just stop and vote. So normally, this is where the most votes come in. So now, if you're in chat, if you click on chat at the top of the chat bar, you'll see trailer of the week. And here is the active live poll right here on the screen. Um, of these, Sam, what are you feeling? Uh, uh, personally, as... as I mean, the town that dreaded sundown was really great. Uh, that's one we kind of broke the seal on. M was really good, but that was a new trailer. And murder by phone, though, which it seems like it's running away with it. Uh, uh, I think that was that was really. I my favorite was the town that dreaded sundown. And then Murder by Phone was like a close, close second there. I didn't break the seal on it. Uh, we could have. I think break the seals. I think unite the seal. Join the seal. Yeah, yeah. Um, connect the medallion. Connect the medallion. <clears throat> um, we need to get another graphic of like submarine key, a- atomic launch keys or codes or something. If you have ideas... Check out the Discord. Send us some ideas of something that'll be similar to this. There we go. Um, Turn your key, uh, sir. War games. I, it's got to be got, quick, though. I've, We're not the whole scene. It's got to be... I've got an idea for a, tra- for a theme next week based on a movie that's one of the front runners this week and I, I feel like we've done something similar but maybe I'm wrong but oh oh you know what we did that's similar to this is uh uh this is where the overlap is 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 when I'm I'm thinking about this I'm thinking about uh um it's similar to things that come to life I think that there's definitely some overlap with this, but what if we did uh, uh, technology movies? Okay. How? Workshop it out. What are you talking about? I mean, murder by phone is the the inspiration for that. Like, but is like, Terminator a technology movie? 
Uh, yeah, I mean, Terminator 2 is more of a technology movie, I would say, but not because of the robot, because of, like, the whole, like, Skynet thing. Okay. I would say, like, or we could say technology gone wrong. Um, War games. Lawnmower Man, War Games, uh, The Net, uh, Hackers, there's a lot of uh, the but dark also, side uh, of technology? Dark side of technology. Okay. So, The Matrix? Kind of? It seems kind of nebulous technology. Okay, all right, all right. That's, that's- <laughs> Lady Twitch says, Short Circuit 2 with the accent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, technology has <clears throat> gone wrong. Murder by uh, phone takes it. To watch Murder by Phone as an outro, do do phone movies, <laughs> phone based movies. But you know what though? It's like like technology is like really fun because yeah, futuristic technology. I think that's a fun way of putting it. It's fun because we can watch all these old movies about the future, and like you know, like in the future we're going to be able to do this and it's like, you know, all bullshit or it's like an iPhone. Okay. So when I put it up and people ask me what the, what the theme is going to be, what are we calling it? Future technology, it's- technology gone wrong. Someone making time travel machines count. Uh, the past technology. I think we've already done robot movies, haven't we? We haven't done robot movies? I don't think so. What is war? We always talk about that. (laughs) (laughs) No, no, it's why is war. Why is war? uh, (laughs) For those who don't know, my impression of every... uh, robot movie in the third act why is war (laughs) every ai movie okay so how do we summarize that so robots would count or we could do robots as a separate category i mean robots i think if we haven't done robots let's do robots okay robots robots is good there's lots of robots Wait, we, we did, did robot, robot movies? movies. <laughs> I got a point for Rotor. Shit! Okay. <laughs> Robots is its own thing. All right. The Booncock says technological dystopia. Like, it's going to be hard to put the trailer oh, up, did the theme up. All right, wait. Um, what, what, were the, what were the movies again that we voted on? <clears throat> Back to the drawing board. M? The the one that the movie that won was Death by Phone. And when we sign mm. off, we'll play it and then Sam will queue up a raid. Yeah. Um I mean someone mentioned telephone movies, but like I, f- I feel like that's our themes get so narrow, and I feel a lot of times these really narrow, specific themes are very fun, but telephone is really narrow. Yeah, Whatever you I decide on, please lay out the specifics in the Discord. Grimworld, tech, yes. <sighs> I kind of think tech gone wrong is good. Someone just mentioned, like, virtuosity, and I think that's right. And, like, okay. uh, and I think phones it falls <laughs> under tech Who gone wrong. Who was phone? <laughs> Lydia uh, good Bill and Ted it's technology. Well, it's also Very a phone booth phone. movie. Yeah, yeah. I phone slash technology gone wrong. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Phones there, gone there wrong. Actually, there actually is like a ton of phone movies though. Like there's like these movies about like now like these like iPhone fucking like hey what if iPhones uh you know like what if you dated an iPhone her in that other movie with uh workaholics in it and uh yeah the cellular phone booth yeah <laughs> 
I just feel yeah. that like if we make that the theme, we'll get like six submission, the same six. Everyone will be watch six movies and be like, all right, so. Stephen King's Cell, which was directed by uh, Todd Todd Williams, I think, or Kip Williams, uh, who's someone that like used to go to Whitest Kids shows. And it's, it's actually two people, but yeah. <laughs> Alex Mob says, "Oh my god, I stepped away for a second. Are y'all really doing phones?" <laughs> uh, <laughs> phones know. slash technology gone wrong and okay. i feel like because we did do uh what, what is that one we did we did like yetis slash uh cryptids cryptids yeah wait what's a cryptid it's like uh i don't know but it was like very it was very varied uh no it was the drug one i think we did one that was like drug slash something but then when we did the show we only really watched one type of movie we didn't watch like the yeah, something. We only watched drugs but like this is like uh, oh cryptids are bigfoots and stuff yeah yeah so we did cryptid slash drugs and so we would watch a, a bigfoot trailer and be like it, was there drugs in that? I don't remember. Uh, but like, if we're watching like technology gone wrong and we see like phone booth, we'll get it. We'll get what they mean. Yeah. Okay. So, and again, uh, I when think, you submit, I think it makes context is everything because we'll read through. Um, and again, I know a lot of you submit during the show. Before the show is great, because we get so many submissions that I'll try and go through midweek or before the show and just tag things, be because like, we'll lose stuff. So um, during the show, we did watch a few that were submitted after we started, but there are already so many, and a lot of stuff you guys have submitted during the show probably have already been submitted before too, but um, it's easier for us to find stuff. So if you find something that's good, it's always easier for us, and the chance of us watching it during the show is higher if you submit it before the show. <clears throat> All right, Sam, do you want to say goodbye? We'll play... Yeah, uh, goodbye. Play the... We'll, we'll play the trailer while Sam cues up a... Yeah. Raid. I, but right now, I want to say goodbye. Thank you very much. Thank you Big very much. Big ups to everyone that stuck around from the raid. We do this Sunday mm -hmm. nights... 9 p.m. Eastern, 9 p.m. ish Eastern, 6 p.m. ish West Coast uh, on Sundays. And the theme is for next week phone slash technology gone wrong. I like it. I think it's okay. going to be a good one. All right. All right. Let's watch that trailer. Uh, thank you to everybody. Big ups. Dotsy uh, oh. Twilight. Hanging out the whole night. Good to have you here. Hold on. Where this was a hit, Lydia go? Petunia. Lydia uh, Petunia. All right. I was actually looking I lost for it. Lydia Petunia's trailer, and then I, I, it was like. I lost the trailer. Lydia. Oh, murder by phone. Here we go. All right. Sorry. Did we watch her? I don't know. Oh, Citizen X. No, I didn't. All right. But I, Big ups. I did see Much love. Movie rec. Uh, Citizen, Citizen Ruth by Alexander Payne. Good movie. Watch that on Criterion Channel. All right. Let's check it out. Now, now murder by phone. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye. Uh, Science has created the ultimate instrument of death, your phone. Hello? By the year 2000, there will be 1.4 trillion phones in the world.
send a thing like that down the line? Hey, are you weird or what? <laughs> the best line in the, the trailer. The are you me weird or what? I should have given a bonus point to the jiggling. Stanley. If there was anything going on, I'd be the first to know about it. You're telling me that a telephone killed the girl. I'll call you. <laughs> That's awesome. Once hang up and then ring again. Oh, somebody call the cops! This guy's crazy! Call the cops! I wish they did it like the lift. Hang up the phone. <laughs> hang up the phone. Ooh, that guy didn't get killed by the phone. That guy just got killed by, like, a fucking Would you cabinet. Murder by All right, phone. cue up the raid. Scam cue likely. Raid. Scam likely was aggressive back then, says so 